jog around here. Welcome to Wrestling is Silly. Welcome to Deck the Halls, our big end of year spectacular. Joining me from the battlefield of upset tummy from the in the in the barracks that are cuddled up in a duvet is the I'm gonna do it. You know I'm gonna do it. I can't believe you just embarrassed me like that, revealing. The, the joining me is the William Regal to my Excalibur. The, ta the, the Taz to my Excalibur, because he is small and angry and I, the, I know the names of all the moves. And the Excalibur to my William Regal, because I think he is a delectable little crumpet and a wonderful little French pastry. Zach, how are you doing this evening? Do you know what? I was doing bad anyway, on the <laughs> fucking front lines of 28 Central. Oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> and now Storm has sent 31 people over to come and say hello. Hello, everybody. You are hello. just in time for Wrestling Is Silly Deck the Hall. Sorry, Zach, I did cut you off there, but I need to do the yeah, big rage fine. spiel. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Storm. Welcome, Balrog and uh, Bloopy and everybody else that's coming from Storm's Raid. Welcome to Wrestling Is Silly. This is Deck the Halls, our end of year spectacular. You are just in time for the start of the show if you've ever watched a wrestling show or a comedy show or an improv show in your life you will enjoy the next two-ish hours of your of your evening it's going to be the most unpredictable nonsensical fun you've ever heard uh, i am eden joining me on the other side of the commentary table is my partner zach who is just telling us how Hello. his day has been yeah fine <laughs> just fine just fine yeah <laughs> Um, Zach, How was your day? Uh, my day, my day has been like I uh, yesterday. I said I'm done for Christmas. I'm done for the year. I'm logging off, closing my work email, and then a deposit got paid. So nice. I pretended to work today. Didn't get a lot <laughs> done because I was doing wrestling and silly stuff instead. But I, I, I told myself that I was done for the year, and now I'm working again. I love being a freelancer. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> very very good uh for the mental health yeah uh 
fantastic. Fantastic, no for, fantastic for the mental health. Love the love the stability that it brings um, yeah. and the predictability <laughs> in my life. Um, thank you, Ayakara, for resubbing. 65 goddamn months. That is way too long. And Rue also for resubbing for 10. Um, Silly like Rey Mysterio wrestling Eddie Guerrero for custody of his son, or Stone Cold beating up Booker T in the supermarket. Sillier than both of those, because ours has a man made of mac and cheese, and he's yeah. he's one of the he's one of the best favorite. He's one of the crowd favorites, but exactly on par with the custody of Dominic Mysterio ladder match. That is about as yeah. as, as silly as we're aiming for here. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> but yes. Um, uh, yeah, I've been I've been sort of working, sort of doing wrestling silly stuff, building all of this that you're looking at today, building the special arena, building all of the fun stuff, making sure Santa yeah. knows how to wrestle again. You know, all of the important stuff that I need to do for today. Balrog, wel welcome to the crew. I'm glad you uh, I'm glad you're enjoying your time here already. I've mentioned Mackie Chase, and now the chants have begun. <laughs> I, I find it hard to talk over the chance because it feels rude, but also yeah, I know what you mean. I've got stuff I need to talk about. Um, That's why it's good I can't hear them. Yes, <laughs> um, yes, it's good that you can't hear them because that means you can. Uh, <laughs> it, you're listening without you're, you're listening without audio, so you're so you're doing nothing. You're watching without audio. You mean? Anyway, anyway, Rue, I do hope you're feeling better, mostly because you're wrestling later on tonight, but I do hope you're feeling well, better in general. they can't hear, so... That's true. I assume <laughs> subtitles. Logan Furry, thank you for subscribing for 59 months. Um, yes, we did even get Santa, like, we... we he's, he's actually surprisingly not busy on a Wednesday night. I got him at a really, really good, good zone. He's never busy Wednesday nights. He schedules that in. Um... Santa's never busy except Christmas Eve night. It's all the elves that do the rest of the work. We I mean, all know this. He takes the meetings and he and he does a lot of like mall Santa stuff. Um, but that's he's he's kind of a figurehead. We all know this. Yeah, that's what he that's what he wants you to believe. I don't believe he goes to any malls. <laughs> Not a single mall. No, it's no. just a lie perpetuated of, by Big Santa. Because none of them will pay travel expenses. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yes, if Rue loses, enough. if Rue loses tonight, it is it is because he is sick. So so that's fair. It's fair. Don't worry about it. So but but you've got a, you've got a good few matches before we get to Rue's match. Our opening match for tonight, as we do like to open our special episodes like this, is our Twitch title match. Now, if you if you remember, how, let, let, let's let's cast our mind back to how this whole thing came together. So. Donkey Kong was our Twitch champion for a while. He was kind of a dominant, nobody could take him out. And then he lost to Kasuga Ichiban at, uh, via ring out. The best boy. The best, the boy, best, the best boy. one. He lost to Ichiban via ring out, and he didn't like that. That felt wrong, because it always feels wrong to, to lose via ring out. Nobody likes that. So he challenged Ichiban to a rematch, and Ichiban, in a, in a, in a very, very rare moment of, of big brain, said, I will only give you a rematch if you put your title on the line. So, as it, and, and, and then I dressed like Ichiban, and it was great. Um, so Ichiban <laughs> got his rematch, title on the line, and won, and now Ichiban is our Twitch champion. Smash cut to a few weeks later, everybody's favorite ball of mac and cheese, the mac and cheese man, Mackie Chase, loses via ring out to Ichiban. And I think this is, this is, the serendipity is here. So I have, I have been the voice of karma, the face of karma, the, the me of karma, the, <laughs> the booker of karma. And I have decided that Ichiban must now have a rematch with Mackie Chase in a falls count anywhere match. That is no ring outs. You can get pinned anywhere in the arena with the title on the line. So your opening contest for this evening for the Twitch Championship, Mackie Chase versus Kaska Ichiban. Any thoughts on this matchup? I know you're a big fan of at least one of these people. Um, I am an equal fan because there's no commentary on the... Uh, there's no bias no, on the no, commentary. There's no commentary, there's no commentary on the bias, on the bias <laughs> I mean, honestly, to be totally fair, in terms of commentators, the second phrase is probably more accurate for me. But, um... <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, fucking go Ichiban, Ichiban number one. Uh, Ichiban, Ichiban number one, indeed. I think that's all that really needs to be said. I mean, on this biased desk, that's all the commentary again. So, 
So let's, let's go down to the ring for our opening contest of the evening. <laughs> Your opening contest for this evening is for the Twitch Championship. I don't know why this man is in the ring. I fired him and took his job as my own. The thing with mac and cheese, man, is like, he's always got the crowd on his side. The crowd love oh, yeah. the mac and cheese, man, but whenever he's gotten to the top of the mountain, he's always fumbled and fallen back down. Mackie Chase might be our most over wrestler. Yeah. And you can see how over he is in the stands, in the chat. Everybody loves the mac and cheese, man. Because who doesn't love a nice warm bowl of mac and cheese? Yeah, I mean, true. Uh, I guess lactose intolerant people. There's like dairy free mac and cheese. I don't know how good it is. I mean, I really feel like even without the dairy, uh, mac and cheese would be pretty good. Yeah. Hannah doesn't even like mac and cheese and still loves the mac and cheese, man. I don't know how you can not like mac and cheese. You must have just had bad mac and cheese. I don't understand how you can not like mac and cheese. You, have, you must have just had bad mac and cheese. Let me yeah. cook mac and cheese for you sometime. You'll learn to love it. Yeah, lactose intolerant people still eat, still eat cheese. <laughs> I'll just eat the mac and cheese and suffer the consequences. See, it's worth it. It's worth it. I hear the music of my boy. The music of your boy. Absolute fucking banger. I just listen to this shit like normally. This is this is this is in my get hyped playlist. Yeah. If I need to like. Um, if I need to get out of bed to get to like wrestling and it's cold, this is my this is my get hype music. <laughs> you giggling at? Just, just the idea of like you need to get out of bed, but it's really cold, so you put this on. Like, yeah. <laughs> what's wrong with that? I think that's the nothing. No, it's a really good idea. It's a perfectly it's cromulent a idea. Funny. Shut up. It's a bit funny. What the fuck is cromulent? But it's perfectly cromulent idea. What the fuck is cromulent? It's a, it's a word for when you need to embiggen something. What? It, never mind. <laughs> okay. The, the, it is a word invented by the Simpsons that now just means whatever oh. you need it to mean. Oh, I see. Okay. Dank Pods uses it all the time. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I don't listen to half of what he says. He says a lot of it too fast. And first, your challenger, hailing from Madison, Wisconsin, weighing in at uh, not not a whole lot. Mackie Chase. And the challenger from a soap landing, Kamurocho, Tokyo, weighing in at 269 pounds. He is what he is the current Twitch champion. Kaska Ichiban! Sorry, I forget. I do the announcing here just on the title matches. <laughs> Booker's here to commentate with me. The, thir the third commentator, Booker, he will only ever just whine into the thing. Yeah, I don't know what he wants, but... Uh... He's like right up in my business. <laughs> right, up, up in, right up in the steez. Yeah. No storm, we will not cromulent your dick because that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I thought you just said it means whatever you need it to mean. Like, in, in, in an adjective sense. Oh, okay. Anyway, the match has started. Come on. <laughs> Mac and Cheese Man throwing Ichiban out of the ring to start the match. Again, this is a Falls Count Anywhere match, so no count outs. This, this I love can... the ring, by the way. Thank you. I, I spent a long time, uh, you know, making sure it all looked nice and Christmasy. Oh! And uh, Ichiban can contest that that is in fact fake snow. Um, yeah. And it, it hits a lot harder than just, real snow does. It's just brick underneath. Yeah, it is just bricks. I yeah. also just just for the just for the classics just for the classic fans brought back the Spanish commentary. They're right. They're right by the table again. Nice. So 
They're, they're just going to be getting up, getting down the whole, this whole time, especially during this match. Oh! Deadlift oh. German suplex from Ichiban. Mac and Cheese Man going flying in to that solid brick floor. And now, oh, shoulder catcher, exploder suplex. Jeez, that was, that could have been very dangerous. His head was so close, so close to the corner of that table. And now, Ichiban going for the, going for the, the f appropriately festive turkey dinner armbar there. Wrenching back at the, at the arm of the mac and cheese man. And there's, there are those chants of turkey dinners. They, I gotta say, they were a lot more turkey dinnerish in the old engine. They, they're a, they're a little yeah. bit clearer this time. Yeah. But nonetheless, Ichiban now going for the opposite hand instead, making sure that even if he neutralizes the one arm, the other arm will also go down. Ichiban with cover. Just a one count though. See, Mac and Cheese Man. We say he always misses the big the big shots, but he never goes Maybe. down easy. He never goes down yeah. without a fight. Oh, I need to put a prediction up. Um, give me one moment. Ichiban, don't win this. Don't win this while I'm putting together the prediction. It's going to have to be a short prediction in case he wins it. Yes. Uh, and by I'll, in case he wins it, I mean when he I'll give you guys it. one minute. Get your predictions in now. Who will win? Will it be Ichiban? Will it be the Mac Cheese Man? The stairs have been collided with. The, but still, just a one count from the Mac and Cheese Man. He heard you talking about uh, Ichiban winning. Yeah, oh. clearly. But a, a, a suplex, again, narrowly missing those stairs. Flying kick from the Mac and Cheese Man, though. Now maybe mounting a comeback. Got the blocks up. Expert, expert play there for Mac and Cheese Man. Returning Ichiban to the ring. And again, in oh this kind goodness. of... Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Flying forearm, though, from Ichiban. Cuts him right back down to size. Oh, there is a very, very skewed... Uh, some of the, Either a lot of people want to... Won the Mac and Cheese Man to win, or it is, or somebody. It's very, very invested. I think so. Somebody really likes. Uh, somebody uh, really likes Ichiban. Somebody's Which, a big honestly, fan of Ichiban. Mac and Cheese Man, come on! No, Ichiban. Thank you. That was a little bit too, too close for my liking. By the way, Blum no, Rupee. he's just. Bonfire he knows Rupee, how to put on a show. He does know how to put on a show. He is he is the hero, so he knows how to put on a good show. Stun exactly. dog millionaire though. Right, from, just follow or something. You were from the Mac Cheese Man. I said, uh, Bonfire Bloopy did follow while I was doing the announcements. Thank you for that follow. I'm now I'm getting getting steadily closer to my seven 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 goal. Yeah. Or or more officially my seven fifty goal. Yeah. Ooh. Mac, uh, Mac Cheese Man hitting, uh, uh, unlike, not usually a striker, the Mac Cheese Man though, managing to get Ichiban to uh, fall against the commentary table. And now Ichiban's gone and gone for a, uh, gone for a kendo stick, but the Mac and Cheese Man flying, taking flight over that top rope and hitting the standing shooting star press. Ichi, uh, oh Ichiban God. in dire straits right now. What is happening? Oh, it's a very, very close contest. But the Mac and Cheese Man, I think he knows that if he doesn't make it this time, this could be the end. It's a very steep neck breaker and gets the uh, kendo stick and collides it over that dragonfish tattoo of Ichiban. But Ichiban returning with a big back elbow. And now, huge, perfect German suplex there. Again, uh, Mac and Cheese Man very, very carefully not hitting the staircase and there's the power bomb into the rising knee gets the cover but still not enough to put down mac and cheese man mac is a flippy shit boy he is a flippy shit boy uh, and, and snooker is not pool snooker is a far more complicated game than pool is <laughs> um yeah. But no, that's a kendo stick, not a not a pool cue. Uh, this this ain't this ain't a British pub brawl, although it should be. <laughs> oh, blue thunder bomb! No, no, wrong. Michinoku driver from Ichiban there. Even if even if only I'm no, they get it wrong. I gotta get it right. Ichiban in full control once again. Played on a lager table. On a on a lager table. Yeah, yeah, because it's a <laughs> pub game. It's got to be played on a lager yeah, table. Yeah, that's fun. Ichiban. Going for the flying forearm again, but the Mac and Cheese Man counters. 
This is, yeah, we're saving the pub crawl for the EastEnders Christmas special. <laughs> and there's the the Mackie go around taking taking all the momentum out of Ichiban, and Ichiban now having to pull himself up by that corner. But now Mac, the Mac and Cheese Man gone for the baseball bat, but countered at the very last moment by Ichiban. Ichiban now throwing a Mac and Cheese Man into the corner and then just yeeting him into the center of the ring. Series of strikes from Ichiban and now, oh, booting his bloody head off. Both, both men eager to uh, flaunt the no DQ rule that comes with the false count anywhere match. Ken Kendo sticks flying left and right, but only the one strike before getting the cover. And there is the win for Ichiban. What a win. Here is your winner and still wrestling is silly Twitch champion, Kaska Ichiban. I do hope that that announcer voice button is working. Otherwise, I just, I'm pressing it like an idiot. But he, uh, he got, he, he got the rematch. And he, he delivered. I mean, I don't know who I don't know who it was that put in the. Uh, let me just check the prediction. See how that went. I don't know who, four people putting in seven point two thousand uh, whiz balls for Ichiban. You uh, you had faith, and the faith pulled the faith pulled off. Well fucking done. That's a good match, though, wasn't it? <laughs> Suitably all over the fucking place for uh, is. <laughs> Is Snooker sorry, who who did it? Is Snooker a TTRPG poll? What, what have I what have I missed here? What is happening? I'm so lost. Zach's died. Is Snooker a TTRPG? No, because it's not role playing and you never roll a D20. If you're not rolling a D20, are you really actually are you really actually doing uh Are you actually doing role playing? Are you oh you're back. You're back. Did you fall asleep? Oh my god, no I'm not really um, you you you're gone you you're very gone you're sounding robotic it's 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 terrible right That's now how you sound me as well and I can't see the stream oh no the internet is dying is the stream dying the stream seemingly not dying just just discord discord is being a pain in the ass right where we need it to not be well we're going to power through we're going to try and power through uh hello hello this is not. This is. This is not. Uh, this is so not Rainbow Rhythms as 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 This, it, is, as this it goes. is dire, to be honest with you. It is. It is dire. I might uh, need to come in there. Give us just a moment. Give us just a moment. I'm gonna try and fix this. I. This. This is a problem. Like. It's either. Discord dies, OBS dies, everything dies. This is, this is... Discord has been full on destroying itself. I don't know why, like, I get that the whole, the whole fucking mobile update is garbage. It's now fucking unstable as fuck. What have they done? What have they done? I hate it. Um, you, you roll balls, Storm, I don't know how to break this to you, but a ball... A dice are two different things. Even though, before you say it, before you say it, I know the balls have numbers on them. That doesn't make them dice. That doesn't make them dice. So, snooker, snooker, snooker is that de most definitely not a tabletop RPG. I don't understand how you're arriving at this. Uh, at this. How did we get here? How did we get to this? The snooker is snooker is a. Eight balls don't have that. Eight balls don't have that. No. Okay, like a a a a magic eight ball has a dice in it. A magic eight ball does. I'll, I'll grant you that a magic eight ball does have a dice in it. But that doesn't mean all snooker balls are dice. Balls aren't just one sided. No, stop this. Balls aren't just one sided dice. I'm not doing this. <laughs> We're not doing this. <laughs> Isn't it like yeah yeah the the inside of a magic eight ball is at least I believe a D eight or maybe a D twelve um, depending on I don't know how fancy your D eight your, your your dice is um, but 
Yeah, I, I, I don't know where. I, how did we arrive at this? At this snooker is a tabletop RPG. I'm so lost. I was too busy, you know, doing a show. <laughs> now and now I'm stuck. And now fucking my my Discord is dying. My co-host is dead. And um, okay, well, do do you sound okay to chat? Apparently, I sound okay to chat. Um, okay, you sound I'm like a sure robot. It's fucking coming then. Uh, it might help. Right. Although I think you might be back now. I'm not back now. I can uh, fucking say I'm not back now. Well, you're back. That back ish. <laughs> oh, Storm. So Storm just fucking said it out of nowhere. I see. Just Storm being Storm. I see. <laughs> Storm being Storm and Rue being the being the, the chaos gremlin. Everything takes yeah. Everything takes a thousand presses and hidden plan menus. Yeah, I I I I a big 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 not fan of that. The new Discord. Everything is too many taps away. Um. Way colder. Zach is joining us the old-fashioned way, by coming and sitting down next to me. Because Discord is being a, a, a pain in the ass. I'm gonna be honest. It was way better in there where I had the quill. <laughs> And I could lie down in bed and just be really comfy. Well, then, yeah, it's it's very much not working, and I don't know why. Uh, just Discord just absolutely shit the bed. Yeah, Discord did in fact shit the bed. Uh, is there anything we can do to help? Can you fix Discord? If you can fix Discord, then that would help us very much. So, but um, is a larger table? No, it's it is. It, he meant to say a larger table. Yeah. Not a larger table. <laughs> Sneaker tables are massive. Yes, they are. Um, I was about to say big enough to hit a guy with, but no, that's that's too big. Too big. Too, too big to hit a guy. With. It goes out the other end. Yeah. Um. So that was the. So how much of the the, the end of the match did you miss there? All of it. It just started disconnecting me. I couldn't hear anything. Like the the picture froze. Well, Ichiban won. Yes. <laughs> Ichiban won by beating Mackie Chase up with a kendo stick, or or uh, Paul Q, depending on how you look at it. Yeah. Um. But I say how you look at it. It's it's only looked at one way, and that is that it's a kendo stick. Yeah. For the next our next match this this evening, moving on from whatever chaos that wrought. Our next match this evening is our Tag Team Championship, currently being held by the team of Sonic Generations. Uh, as, I, as I said last week, there was a little bit of contract fuckery, wherein the Deity Dogs did manage to sign their Tag Team contract before they lost the case. So, they are not cashing in their briefcase for this match because they don't fucking have the briefcase. But that does put the briefcase in a very interesting position. Mm. Because the match after this one is our smiley case tables match so if so basically the union or abe lincoln specifically has a very very quickly dwindling window in which to use this briefcase yeah uh some might argue he's missed his fucking shot wouldn't they really considering you know they've got a match next yeah i mean <laughs> You're not. You are sadly not wrong. <laughs> um, I mean, when did, they didn't get it that long ago, though, did they? They only got it uh, not Monday's episode, but the last Wednesday. Yeah. Episode. So, like, you know, in in fairness to them, they didn't have that long to cash it in. Yeah, they 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 didn't have that long to cash it in, but uh, still fucked it. <laughs> they still did kind of fuck it, though. I, I I do like though that the Deity Dogs are getting the title shot finally. Yeah. They feel like old school wrestling is silly tag team, um, as are the Union, as are Sunday Generations. This feels like a very old school tag championship, and we are doing it in the old school wrestling silly style. We're going back to all tornado tags. Try not to fuck it, 007. <laughs> I will try my best. <laughs> so, any thoughts on who's going to walk away with the title? Here? Honestly, it could be either of them. Uh, it could be either teams. They're both, <laughs> they they both have the experience and the overness to totally take it. They do, they do. Um, and they're both talented. It's not even like you can really get. Oh well, you know, one's got more experience. You know, they're pr they're on pretty level uh, ability. Again, yeah, level so, like yeah. You know, I've just seen you did a poll on this snooker 
a tabletop RPG. Yeah, this this was that I was this was this was Rue and Storm. This was their doing. Oh, I see. Um, I see. Because they because snooker has taken over the chat. Right. Okay. We're going to pivot to wrestling a snooker. <laughs> um, I don't need to do don't need to do any change any of the branding because it's all the same. What words. American comedian had that bit where he kept calling it snooker? I don't know. I fucking it, that is going to bug me. I'll remember later. My favorite wrestler is Superfly Jimmy Snooker. Yeah. Um, and on that note, that's the only joke I can make about Jimmy Snooker. But let's go down to the ring. <laughs> on the way to the ring first, the challengers. From the heavens above via Hollywood, Florida, the Deity Dogs. There they are indeed. They are they are absolutely loud and brightly coloured in two opposite ways, and I love them both. I love my brightly coloured yeah. boys. Uh, level pegging is that when you peg but keep a spirit level handy? Yes, to make sure you're still straight. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, no streams lagging. Oh, it's back now. It should be back now. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't go for too long. I just don't think it could handle the fact that we were both online. It just can't handle how cool we are. That's the yeah. problem. I need it to not. I need it to not do that. Yeah. <laughs> And the champions, they are the Wrestling is Silly Twitch champions, hailing from the Green Hill Zone, weighing in at 32 bits of blast processing, Sonic Generations! When you put that announcer voice on, I just want you to know that it takes every single fiber of my self-control to not say something really stupid. <laughs> I'll put you back in the bedroom. I, yeah, I know, but... <laughs> but you just want to say something stupid. I, I do, yeah. It, it, not many people get the opportunity to say something silly in the announcement. That's true, that's true. I uh, feel like I would actually be doing some form of humanitarian work. If, but, you, but you can't do that over the champions doing their little dance. Yeah, I know. That's Look why at them. I didn't. We love them. We love to see them. They are so handsome. They are special. They are lovely. We love Sonic Generations. They're great. <laughs> look how look how everybody loves them. They're incredible. <laughs> and they they are they're the only rate they're the only wrestling silly two time tag team champions. They are as you can hear crowd favorites. Everybody loves them. They put on a banger of a Hell in a Cell match against Kentucky Derby. It's it's really fun to see him in the ring. And catching in the smiley case from Sinking Spring Farms, Kentucky, and the heart of every worker in the world, Karl Marx, Abraham Lincoln, the Union! Well, I did say they'd run out of time, and I feel like they only did this to prove me wrong. I think they heard you. They heard you in the back, <laughs> and uh, they heard you in the back, and they were like, shit, no, this is our last chance. <laughs> did I say Kentucky? I'm sorry, was I wrong? Am I wrong? <laughs> is Abe Lincoln not from Kentucky? I... I did, 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 did Google let me down? Oh my god. If this is one of those, like, someone has AI uh, fucked up. Born LaRue County, Kentucky. Born LaRue County, Kentucky. It's all, yeah, it's all America, same thing. <laughs> According to Wikipedia, born Sinking Spring Farms, Kentucky. From, maybe from Springfield, Illinois. Born in Kentucky. So I'm technically correct. Technically correct. According to Wikipedia. According to when has Wikipedia and, ever been wrong? Yeah, and to be fair, you know, 
if it's in Wikipedia, that basically makes it right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It becomes fact. Mm -hmm. Oh, big brain buster there from God onto Abe Lincoln, and then another sort of Uranagi thing for movie Sonic. There, this is utter chaos. Abe Lincoln's laid out already. Choke slams all around for from the hat from the right hand of God. Literally every single man getting a choke slam from God. Doug, Doug being thrown into the corner by Abe Lincoln, who then quickly turns turns his attention onto the champs. <coughs> I don't think I don't think there's any way that I'm going to be able to commentate on everything that's happening because because it's a mess, but that's it's, like the best kind yeah, of match. Though. It's a glorious mess. To be honest, these are just commentary freebies because yeah. you just. Go on, tell me which part is the most important part that we should be talking about. If I, can, on. If I see a cool move, I'll throw it in there, but... Yeah, but other than that, it's just, we're just vibing. Mm -hmm. Abe Lincoln getting an early pinfall, but God, going for a going for a uh, sledgehammer from under the ring again in a triple threat situation. There are no disqualifications once again. A huge tornado hurricane runner from Karl Marx. He goes for a flying kick from on God, but God rebuffs him. Meanwhile, Sonic Generation's trying to maintain some form of control over the match. So, is it any pin on any person wins the... Yes, the first team to get a pinfall will win, so the champs can lose without being pinned in this match. Yeah. If, say, Abe Lincoln pins God, then the Union will be champs without Sonic Generation's being involved at all. Yeah. It's a very precarious situation for Sonic uh, and Sonic. Um... Abe Lincoln and God on the outside now. God see, noticing that Abe has the steps. Oh, but Carl flies oh. over to try and help Abe, but misses his mark, unfortunately. And the springboard tor tornado from Classic Sonic there at the bottom did not quite hit its target. If Abe Lincoln pins God, what a sentence. Yeah, um, one nation under God. Uh, no, one nation pinning God. And his fucking... The, the some joke about the founding fathers and... <laughs> Karl Marx did not account for Sonic Generations and Deity Dogs when he wrote Das Kapital. Yeah, that is... Did not account for this when he wrote das, das Kapital. No, yes, sorry, I don't I don't have quotes set up at the minute, but... Uh, for For our own sakes, we will all rem remember when Abe Lincoln got pinned by God. It's good that the Barog has got my back, because I also wanted to make that call Mr. Mark joke. But then we got sidetracked by uh, Abe Lincoln and pinning God and all that shit. So. <laughs> Don't if, worry, the Balrog always if, has your if, back. If nobody's got me, the Balrog's got me, yep. all right? <laughs> <laughs> if nobody got me, I know the Balrog got me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Tope Suicida again, Carl missing his marks with that. It's, the Sonics are proving too fast for, uh, for, for a lot of the, the Union's offense. God proving that Abe cannot pin him by quite literally pinning him down under a single foot. This is almost insulting to the Union. But hey, if you're gonna literally fuck with God, this is what comes. This is what comes for you. Yeah. And now a bear hug on the outside. Not often you see this. This is some old school shit from from God. But I'm sure they say Old Testament shit. Huh. Oh, what a big boot from Abe Lincoln. A very high big boot. And a, a falcon arrow from Karl Marx over there. And he's cleaning up. The Union cleaning up sharp right now. Could we be looking at new champs? I mean, it's a bit early to say, but... Abe now turning his attention to classic Sonic. And just for a moment, they're back to guard. He gets the... Oh. Power bomb onto the apron Ooh. on the almighty. The hardest part of the ring colliding with the spine of the of the big man upstairs. It is. It's not looking good for the Deity Dogs, I must it say. It's not. It's combo of a nation of strikes from Classic Sonic. The champions, Classic Sonic. Champion Sonic Generation's kind of playing a back seat for now. Oh, until Movie Sonic gets hit with the Jack Knife. Ooh. And up on the shoulders, the sit out torture rack. That is again, that is some Old Testament shit. God with the cover. And Abe, 
Abe waiting a little bit to get the cover and he's got something queued up for Movie Sonic. Maybe Movie Sonic not quite finished, but Abe not accounting for God hitting another jackhammer, <laughs> getting the cover. Sorry, it's funny shit going on outside of the ring. No, no, sorry, just uh, Abe not accounting for God was quite the... Uh... Abe has not accounted for God and his jackhammers. <laughs> you always got to account for what if God hits me with a jackhammer. <laughs> Plan that into your days, folks. If you take one thing away from this, Deck the Halls, yeah. always account what if God shows up and jackhammers me. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he looks like that, you know... <laughs> Buy a few drinks, see how it goes. You wouldn't say no. <laughs> Karl Marx now stuck in an armbar from Movie Sonic. Meanwhile, in the ring, the two big hosses got up on the top rope. He's not usually he's either way higher up than this or not usually leaving the ground, so this is a dangerous place for him. Fortunately he thought better of it. As uh, Karl Marx and Classic Sonic spill it back into the ring. Karl gripped firmly by Classic Sonic thrown into the center of the ring as God slammed into the ground from the force of uh, Abe Lincoln there. <laughs> nobody ever yeah, nobody ever accounts for the divine jackhammer. <laughs> it's Old Testament shit. It, it was, the, the, the King James Bible has translated out all of the then God hit a sick jackhammer. <laughs> trust me, they were, they were in there. They were in there. You sort of seen Jesus as super kicks. They were they were great. <laughs> That's not Old Testament. No, but in the, in the New Testament, he switched up his styles, became a high flyer. Oh, I see, I see. Old Testament gods, are gods like Kevin Nash. New Testament god is like Rey Mysterio. I see. Um, <laughs> nobody can hit a jackhammer and a super kick. That would be unreal. <laughs> oh. Code Red from Karl Marx on the outside. Code Red. Karl Marx single-handedly destroying God with Code Red. 450 spin dash from Classic Sonic. Looking to regain, looking to re retain, retain those titles. Karl Marx one step ahead. Shotgun drop kick. <laughs> you got there. Right? I got there earlier. There's a lot going on. I've got yeah, a lot of words. <laughs> and I can't you, say them all that fast. You made the mistake of letting chat pick whether or not they wanted to see the chaos. Yeah, I, I asked chat, that. chat, do you want chaos to reign? And chat, like, wholeheartedly <laughs> said, yes, please. Oh, standing shooting star press from Karl Marx on the outside, but a very near fall from the deity dogs on the inside. Ooh, super kick blocked by Abe Lincoln, though. And, oh, Sonic looking for something under, under the, underneath the ring. Couldn't quite found, find it, though. Returns to the ring to continue picking on Karl Marx. Hits a super kick. Karl Marx spinning. Just spinning out of his own mind, it seems. Day, the Deity Dogs going for the more weapon-based offense. But I think that was a super kick party for God on the inside. Could this be it? Oh... Well, Deity Dogs. Doug Ziggler, instead of breaking up the pin, opts to. I don't know what I don't know what he was thinking, but Sonic has pinned God, and here are your winners. And still, wrestling is silly. Tag team champions, Sonic Generations. Nice, nice, nice. Can I just say, as an aside, right? Maybe this is just because I'm fucking old, but whenever. What does LFG mean? Let's fucking go. No, right? <laughs> Whenever I read it, I always look at it. Looking for group! <laughs> that's not because you're old. That's because you play too many uh, MMOs. <laughs> it's an MMO thing. Oh, okay, right. That makes sense. Because that's all It's all MMOs. What? Wasn't looking for group also like an age-old fucking webcomic? Uh, it, was, it was an old webcomic. From, it, was, it was an old, like, it was an old, it was an old Warcraft webcomic, I think. Because um, oh, oh looking God. for group that, comes from World of Warcraft, I believe. That does fucking date me. It does kind of, <laughs> does kind of date you, but it could be looking for Greg as well. That's <laughs> why yeah, I swear I've read the fanfic where Sonic pins God before. I mean, it probably already exists, but you just saw it live in action. Still, you're wrestling a silly tag team champion, Sonic Generations. I mean, they've just been pit against the two 
longest tenured tag teams. They've taken down the they've taken down the Springfield Sports Center. They've taken down Kentucky Derby. Now they've taken down both the the Deity Dogs and the Union. Who is left to take on Sonic Generations? Who even? Like the the Fight Boy friends aren't a thing anymore. So that they're obviously no longer a challenge. It's it's looking more and more dominant every single every single time the Sonic Generation step in the ring. They 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 get more and more dominant. And I now I struggle to see who can take them on because it's yeah they are they are a force to be reckoned with. Um, and now of course the uh, the smiley case is out of action. Which brings us nicely to our next match of the night. You say it's out of action. It's really not out of action for much longer. <laughs> exactly. Because I've, ju- I've just done a segue that, 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 that proves that wrong. Yeah. Our next match of the evening is our trick or treat tables match. Five men will enter and the last man standing will, will take on the smiley case, which grants them a title shot at any title at any time. Uh, we've purposefully not revealed the the identities of these five men. Should I should I continue doing that, or should I reveal them now, or let their entrances speak? I mean, their entrances are literally about to say who they are. I love how Rue is also just outed himself as not watching the stream, because yes, we absolutely have had them in the ring as a tag team. They are the RCM and have tagged together multiple times. They have times. tagged together multiple times. <laughs> uh, un- unthinkables. Now that unthinkables are a thing, they they could be a, a hell of a force. Yeah. For, for generations, the ge- Sun generations used to saving small animals, not used to fighting them. That could be that could be a a, a an interesting uh, curveball to throw at them. The, the of course the RCM definitely a tag team. Uh, don't ask Rude. Don't worry, he's only one of the champions. He doesn't know the show. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's too busy, like you know, rolling on all of the money that we yeah. pays him. Us too busy, money. too busy looking out for the flip sheet division to look out for the yeah. tag division. Yeah, that yeah. is the that is the the one aside I will give you. Isn't Kim <laughs> flippy? Uh, Kim is Kim's not that flippy. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't um, I wasn't sure to be fair. No, he's more of a he's more of a. Wait, should I be? No, no, you're not you're not being paid for this. You so, absolutely are not being paid so, for this when you don't even know who the bloody tag teams are. <laughs> Stop, fi- stop fighting chat. <laughs> stop getting in fights with chat. I'm not fighting chat. I'm fighting rude. That's totally acceptable. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> You're not fighting chat. Chat's fighting you. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Shall we instead of you two fighting? Because if you two keep fighting, I will schedule you a match. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to the sanctioned fighting for this evening. Yeah. And let's, let's let their entrances do the talk. This next match is a five-way elimination trick or treat tables match. Entering first from uh, Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 230 pounds, Majima Goro. I forgot to press my button. Oh, that's embarrassing. It, so did you start announcing that halfway through? Yeah. Oh, that. <laughs> cringe it's okay it's only it's only magic we'll just we'll just what do you mean <laughs> how fucking dare you <clears throat> so imagine a, coming from smiley case after after uh scuppering his shot at a flippy shit title shot he's gonna now instead going for smiley case interesting interesting way to way to look way to it was planned actually he didn't scupper it's all planned yeah of course planned. yeah you have a direct line to to yeah. uh imagine we're and good Kiri, friends we're good friends good yeah. friends yeah very awkward scheduling like you know coffee mornings and yeah. stuff when they won't be around each other but yeah um, it's, it's it's hard for you but you you, yeah. you're, you deal with it me and ichibana like we work on it and from congo jungle weighing in at 152 pounds ding pong. speaking of being put in an awkward place diddy kong's kind of in that same awkward place not only is as his older brother slash cousin slash uncle whatever however they're related he and donkey <laughs> kong kind of getting into a bit of a fight over over about ba- over like, yeah where diddy kong sits between him and bowser jr now bowser jr his best friend is in his own weird bit of tension it's a hard time for the cool kids right now mm, yeah it is it's a real hard time for the cool kids um but it's nice to see that that 
he can bounce back, enter himself in in this match, and uh, and not be too distracted by all of the soap opera shenanigans going on. Yeah. Um, yeah, to, 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 to just clarify on the rules, this is a five-way tables match. If you go through a table, you are eliminated, and the last man standing, or last monkey standing, will take home the smiley case. Don't see any tables yet. Very suspicious. And from a burger joint conveniently located on Ocean Avenue, Seymour's Bay, New Jersey, Weighing in at 256 pounds, Butcher. I cannot believe he tricked me into reading it, doing a fucking ad read. That's hysterical. He made me do a fucking ad read for his entrance. I mean, in his defense, I'm sure they're very delicious burgers. I'm sure they're very delicious burgers, but... We've done some burgers from his cookbook way back when, and they were pretty delicious. So. They were, they were. Uh, I, I do have the Bob's Burgers burger. The Bob's Burgers burger book is a good burger book. Yeah. Um, I would have done the ad read if he asked, but he conned me into it, and that makes me feel yeah, icky. Yeah, bit dirty. Because Bob Belcher there repping his Springfield Sports Center special branded apron. We don't sell those, but I am looking into it. You can get yourself a Springfield Sports Center hoodie. And according to Zach, they're quite comfortable. Yeah, they are, actually. <laughs> When's the Balrog versus 100 Dwarves <laughs> If, if only uh, 2K23 had that option, we'd have that every week. Every now. week, yeah. yeah. Be the headline every week. <laughs> From out of this world, weighing in at 335 pounds, the unthinkable sheep. Okay, that was a pretty fucking sick entrance, though. It wasn't it? Like, lots of mid the, the the unthinkable sheep, the 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 the, the unpredictable uh, fringe of the unthinkables. Never know quite what he's gonna do. Bit fucked think, up looking, but yeah. I think that's reflected in the entrance quite well. And finally, from the planet Krypton via Metropolis, weighing in at 241 pounds, the Man of Steel, Superman! Wow. Yeah. yeah. Superman really struggling to sort of get his, get his edge back, get his momentum back after everything that happened with the Empire. And yeah. And you know, I really can't blame him. Uh, he he ruled over the the title picture with an iron fist for the best part of what a year. Yeah, something like that. Um, and and now, despite dro dropping the Empire colors, trying to return back as this happy-go-lucky superhero, no one's just not picking up on. No one's believing it. No one's buying. No one's buying what he has to sell. I can confirm Superman is banned from using his laser eyes. Um, we did try and ban most superpowers just for simplicity's sake. Um, but the fight begins. Majima really, really e easily trying, like, sidestepping Superman's original offense. But then Superman... Ooh, brain buster from the unthinkable sheep onto Bob. But then Diddy Kong... Coming in with a huge, beautiful wrist control there, taking him down. Majima flooring Superman and moving over to the outside. There's your table. Yeah, finally. And there is oh, plenty he's... more hidden under the ring. Don't worry about that. <laughs> he was like, oh, I don't want to go through that. I'm going to put that down. Yeah, let me let me uh, make sure that's not a threat. Because <laughs> he's the one that does most of the bouncing. Big spear from Bob Belcher. Majima could have gone through the table right there. Yeah. But thankfully, thankfully he, uh, he bounced the other way. 
And now the unthinkable sheep going for a ladder. Holy shit, this is uh MJ, thank you for that raid. Everybody from MJ's it's stream, welcome to Wrestling is Silly. You are just in time for our five-way trick-or-treat tables match. In the ring is Majimagoro, Bob Belcher, Superman, Diddy Kong, and the unthinkable sheep. The whoever is the last man standing after the others are thrown through a table will be the holder of the Wrestling is Silly smiley case, giving them a title shot at any time. This is Wrestling is Silly Deck the Halls, our year-end special of the stupidest fucking wrestling show you've ever seen. Joining me on commentary is uh, Zach. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. I think I'd be pretty good at a tables match. I've never been through a table in my life. Never gone through a table. Uh, yeah. I've got a, I've got a clean record of never been going through a table. Yeah. So like I feel like I go in with a distinct advantage. A lot of these wrestlers have been put through yeah. tables. Before, They've all been put so, through tables in their lives. You know, I have a 100% track record with every table I've met, but not going through. Yeah. So I have beaten every table. Exactly. Um, I yeah. am. I am the, the. Some might say I am the head of the table. Um, that was shit. No, you, you, you say that shit. That's been Roman Reigns' thing for like three years now. Yeah, it's shit when he does it. Yeah, it's shit when he does it. But it's it's. it's there we go. I said it. Fuck you, Roman it's Reigns. Satirical. It's satirical when I do it. So it's be- it's actually better when I do it. <laughs> three tables in the ring right now, and the unthinkable sheep, the only man. Uh, not stupid enough to be in the ring with all those fucking tables. Although I do wonder, ooh, springboard tornado, but the sheep just not even affected by that. Majima really, really not not hitting the mark on that one. Superman stepping up a table. This is all. This has gotten dangerous all of a sudden. Yeah, it reminds you that Roman Reigns exists. I do apologize. That's the only time Roman Reigns will be mentioned. Um, <laughs> Will be mentioned during the stream. I know it's a it's a bad subject. Okay, but what if we can think of other jokes that involve Roman Reigns? Oh, then I'll make them. But okay, uh, just it. He'll only be mentioned in a derivative way. Don't worry about <laughs> it. I wonder if going through the commentary table counts as an elimination. I don't think that I don't think I've written that in the rules, so I'll have to check. I think I, if it happens, it happens. Meanwhile, Bob hitting Diddy Kong over the head with the stop sign, clearly, uh, clearly wanting to. Uh, Shut, shut off whatever Diddy Kong's going through right now, which was, let's be honest, absolutely fucking nothing. Diddy Kong was just minding his own goddamn business and now being thrown onto the table by Superman. Very, very precarious position. Could this be our first elimination? Diddy Kong has been eliminated with a power bomb from the Man of Steel. What a shame. What a shame. Yeah, tragic. Absolutely tragic indeed, but... Hey, I mean, this the, the four, four of these men have got to be eliminated. Bob cracking Majima over the head with the table. See, it was it wasn't it wasn't too long ago. It was the only, it was Graveyard Smash, I believe, where uh, Majima and Bob had a had a tenuous alliance. Interesting that that alliance is uh, clearly not important to either of them right now. Exploder suplex from Bob to Majima on the in, on the inside. Meanwhile, on the outside, Diddy Kong slowly making his way to the back, but. The Unthinkable Sheep and Superman now crossing paths. This is the first time we've seen the Unthinkable Sheep in a wrestling in silly arena. Hammerlock side suplex from Superman. Again, this is the first time we've seen the Unthinkable Sheep. The Unthinkables have a storied career back over on the Indies, but this is, again, his, his wrestling is silly debut. Meanwhile, inside the ring, Bob Belcher and Majima going toe to toe. Majima with the trip, getting trying to get his momentum back. Gets a table. Is he going to try and eliminate Bob? <laughs> Cracks him over the head with it. I really enjoy it when they just fucking like biff each other with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the legs gave out under that. Yeah, I mean, I maybe not what he planned, out. but oh, the essence of choking locked in. Bob cannot submit. See, he's tapping out wildly, but there is no submissions in this match. Imagine I feel that. like that was just some kind of perverted, like, kind of wanted him to, you know? Like... <laughs> Majima, yeah, Majima could have could have just kept on holding that. I don't know why he let go. There was Honestly, no... because I think he got the satisfaction he was yeah. looking for. He made him give up, so Majima, yeah. Majima wins in his own head. Yeah. Majima is a bit notorious for that. He just kind of makes up the rules, goes for his version of a win, and then is, like, happy after that. Like, yeah, he's, he's, he's gotten his victory, and that victory yeah. did also include... A brutal knee strike to Bob straight after. Maybe, maybe though now we can get an on the books victory by putting him through the table. 
Oh, it, this is. Oh no! The unthinkable sheep can't say took the leg of the table <laughs> out, so Bob is safe for another moment. Oh, this match is never going to finish because they're just going <laughs> to knock gonna out get the each leg other's leg. The table. What happens, right? It, say you're, you're in a tables match and mm. like that happens, but like to all the tables, like no tables have any legs anymore. And well, the table still has legs; they've just folded in. If all of the tables, no, if all of the but look, they've like knocked one of the table legs. I, I think that's from the broken table. Oh, okay, fine. I think the table itself is safe. Okay, fine. Well, go go through this theoretical. If if right. all of the tables broke, then I think referees would have to bring out more tables. Right. Okay. Refs so would just have just, to bring more tables. You just have to keep going. Yeah. Until until somebody goes through a goddamn table. Okay. What happens if we run out of tables? Then that have legs. Referee stoppage. <laughs> No, it's it, it's officially declared a no contest. I, there's no way for people to win. I really like how at no point it was just lean the fucking table against something and throw it. Oh yeah, I mean, way. yeah, that that could also, that would that would work. You've just <laughs> got to go through the table. It doesn't have to be stood up. Oh, brutal foot stomp, double foot stomp there from uh, from the unthinkable sheep. All of the all of that unthinkable weight going down onto Majima's chest, almost caving in the damn thing. Imagine a whacking Superman with a stop sign is my mental dialogue going for something. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we just need Majima to come in and hit us with a stop sign if we know we're doing something dumb. <coughs> so yes, the point of a tables match is to put someone through a table. If you go through a table, you lose the tables match. Um, that is the only way to win is to put somebody through a table. This is specifically an elimination tables match. So if you go through a table, you are out of the match and the last, but it's last man standing. Superman double suplex there from Bob and the Unthinkable Sheep. I didn't think it would take two men to suplex the uh, to suplex a uh, Man of Steel, but ooh, that counts. Apparently that counts. Oh, is Bob out now? A but a snap dragon suplex from Majima caught one of one of Bob's limbs caught the table, and that counts as a little bit limit an I elimination mean, the for Bob. The table fucking broke. So. Yeah, Bob hit the table. The table broke. Bob has been eliminated. We are down to our final three of Majima, the Unthinkable Sheep, and Superman. And get your bets in now. Who do you think it's going to be? I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I I got, I got money on Majima. I think Majima could go far with this. He needs to stop kicking that table, otherwise he's going nowhere. <laughs> Oh, uh, unthinkable sheep attempting. I thought that I think that was a sling blade there, but he couldn't quite get the purchase he wanted to. And now, oh, the ribs of Majima colliding with the uh, with the steel barricade. That sorry, the, the brickwork barricade, the very real brickwork barricade. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the wall, actually. Yeah, the wall. We we call them walls. Yeah, yeah. that's the word. That's the word. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware of the word wall. Um, Superman flexing a little bit too hard, giving Majima too much time to get back up to his feet. But a shotgun drop kick from the unthinkable sheep shuts him down. And now, oh, again, series of strikes from Majima. Majima, though, not keeping the sheep's attention for long enough. Dumped down uh, Michinoku driver there from Majima. These messy bitches, like one of them needs to just walk away for a minute and let yeah. the other two Let the other two handle it. Majima, keep your distance for a bit. Yeah, like stop doing that. <laughs> Superman flexing is an old sheep beats at Majima with something allows you to do. Welcome to Wrestling is Silly. This shit happens every fucking All the time. week. Yeah. <laughs> We've got so many eldritch farm animals. We've got a sheep, a chicken, a horse, a rabbit. Colonel Sanders is was best friends with the unthinkable horse for a long time. Um we just got some good shit. Welcome to Wrestling Silly. I'm glad you, I'm glad you like it. The Unthinkable Sheep currently... Ooh! That is an impressive uh, display of strength. From that Majima. was a very we, impressive display of strength there from Majima. We don't normally see him do the full strength move. No, he's more of a, a nimble, uh, yeah. roguish type. He uses your own momentum against you, but this time, just no, no, I'm just going to electric chair into a German suplex, into whatever the fuck that funky little almost the one-winged angel thing was. I uh, I just want to uh, rest. Uh, the chat seems very distressed at the idea that Wiz might not be uh, OSHA compliant. Uh, as the um, Wiz spokesperson, uh, we don't need to be OSHA compliant compliant because we do these in international waters yes um, um osha osha only only affects uh, u.s soil yeah um 
the, uh, Wiz is beyond OSHA. Don't worry about it. Wiz is beyond any government regulatory body, mm -hmm. which is just how we like it. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, the essence of choking, making the unthinkable sheep tap out. But he's not eliminated because this is not a regular match. So Majima has made two of these men tap out. Yeah, but he's just a bit filthy like that. He is. Like, he, again, he's playing by his own rules. Yeah, he just... He's got he's got two wins now in his book. And now again, so he's taking your advice. He's let he's let Majim, uh, Majima's let Superman and the sheep just sort themselves out for a bit. Brutal shoulder breaker from the sheep there, but now Majima's set up a table, and I think he's trying to get Superman through that table, but Superman has other ideas, shall we say. Oh Big ugly trip and the chop block avoided by the sheep. Into the short DDT right on that brickwork. I mean, taking a DDT on anything's gonna hurt, but on bricks, oh, no thank you. No fucking thank you. <laughs> to quote Rue, our flippy shit champion, damn, that's terrible. <laughs> Big vertical suplex there. Imagine we're really getting a chance to reflect his strength. Today. He really is. He's really showing up. He's, he's more than just a little flippy rogue. I mean, he's that, but he's also very strong. He's, he's that and so much more. Yeah. He's a multifaceted being, is uh, yeah. Is Majima. He's hit the gym after his break off. Mm -hmm. Get back in the ring. Why are you going to get back in the ring? I mean, yes, that's this where gonna... the table is. That is where the table is, but they got to loosen each other up. Hitting each other with all them <laughs> suplexes. All right, not on camera, thank you. <laughs> For, it's all about foreplay and loot. <laughs> <laughs> Majima finally hitting that chop block on the unthinkable sheet and... Again, another beautiful series of kicks onto, onto Superman, but giving the sheep too much time to get back to his senses and throwing Majima almost onto the ramp there, but just avoiding colliding with the uh, with the end of the ramp. That's a real nasty bit. You want to watch yeah. out for that bit. If somebody could just set up another table, please, for the love of God. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there are more tables under the ring. Don't worry about it, guys. Yeah, no, I'm, like I know, but that's exactly my point. Like they need to, uh, they need to be. Fucking setting up tables <laughs> and eliminating each other. Our oh, four, oh, four playing lube, another tag team. They're not a tag team yet. Shit, but I write that down. Write that down. <laughs> I'll delete the saying. comment. Write it down. <laughs> we'll make check. Sure, make TM, TM, TM. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee if you look like on, um, if you look on the indies, there's going to be a four playing lube. Oh god, team. yeah, I bet there is. Oh, deadlift, one arm suplex from Majima just after Superman gets bust open. With that code breaker from the unthinkable sheep. And now Majima really showing off to the crowd into the German suplex. And there, dropping Superman on his face. I, I don't know what that move is, but it's beautiful every time. Mm, that was nice as well. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like he's taking a look at two of Kenny Omega's best moves. The one with the angel Kreutz Wrath and gone. What if I did them both at the same time? <laughs> what if I just did them both together? That'd be great, wouldn't it? And you know... It was. Majima, honey, I love watching you flex, but I really wish you would put both of these men through a table. <laughs> yeah, if you could flex by putting these guys through tables, um, then that would be, then that would be great. I'm sorry, I, I'm just rereading back through chat, and I, I, I apparently admitted that I had been through a table. I can confirm I've never been through a table. I'm better than that. Um, you said send off. You've been through a table. I then, I then did say words, but then I am. The one behind the microphone. I've got to say words. Wait, where does it say that you said that you've been through a table? Sound off. You've been through a table, and then I and then I talked. Oh. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I did. I did out myself as having gone through a table, but I, I promise oh, that was a lie. Um, I've never been through a table. Uh, you you would know. You guys would be the first to know if I'd ever been through a table. I, I promise. <laughs> oh, sit out power bomb there from the sheep. And then our Superman. I, come on, suit back in the ring. Back in the fucking ring. Let's go. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting bored of the three of you. <laughs> Superman taking the chance to show off his strength, but maybe a little bit too long. The sheep's got that chair. This is looking dangerous. I'm not I'm not bored. I never wanted to do said that I'm bored, but we have other matches. To yes, that we've is, got like six more is, matches. That to get. Is, oh please, it's not, come six, it's not six. More. It's not six more. So we've got five more matches to get through. Come on, guys. <laughs> half and half suplex there from Majima. We, I, I, yeah, after, after this match, we've got the women's world title, we've got the men's world title, we've got the flippy shit title, we've got the hardcore title, and our Santa versus Pepsi Man loser leaves town match up and coming. Not to be missed. Please do stick with us to, right until the end of the show. 
Superman up. Al going for the Alabama slam onto Majima. Not, we're, see we're seeing like literally everything these men can do. Oh! Missile drop kick to the back of the head, really putting. Oh my god, putting it might Soup be happening. Pace. The unthinkable sheep has been returned to the ring. Oh god. And now Soup's, Soup's in to join him. No. Ugh. They know, they know. <laughs> go near the table. Shit, bad shit happens. So why would they believe, go near the table? I can't believe they haven't set up another table. You'd think that would be the plan. You'd Gentlemen, think the plan would be set up more tables. Does it have a time limit? Uh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, that these matches don't have time limits. We're going to be here all night. <laughs> but don't worry, it'll be fun. <laughs> oh. Going for the Brain Buster, but Majima slipping out the back door, managing to avoid. That could have been an uh, abject disaster, uh, hitting a Brain Buster on the outside. <coughs> oh, maybe spoken far too soon. Oh, Majima though. No, he's, he's managing to slip out again, avoiding all disaster into a Thed's Press from Superman though. Although if, if, if it's either a, a power bomb to the outside or a Thed's Press, I know which one I'd rather take. Also, obligatory slug my balls. <laughs> Um. <laughs> oh god, the table's gone down! <laughs> Don't worry, Majima's here. Majima's here to put the table back up. Thank god. I think he's the only person putting up any fucking table. That's because he's already got his wins, so now we can now we can end the match. Yeah. Majima, do not fucking just yeet yourself through that table. He's, try, he's trying to get the attention of the two men on the outside. Yeah, I know, and it's not working. It's not. It, they're, they're, they're too busy, you know, being messy bitches and fucking up each other's shit. <laughs> But I think I think Majima may be may be done with the match because he's he, he is trying to get people into the, into the ring at this point. Yeah. Oh, that was brutal from the unthinkable sheep there, going for a sleeper hold, but then instead of you know gently lowering your opponent to the ground, no, just bam, head first into the mat, eat shit. God, I don't think heads are supposed to bounce. No, heads aren't supposed to bounce, especially not off of what what that material. <laughs> Brick. Yeah, brick. It's a wall. Brick with uh, what can only be described as a no. very thin veneer of cotton wall. Superman. Majima, Majima, come on. Superman may be trying to eliminate Majima at this point, but oh, the unthinkable sheep there to stop him, but the fight has returned to the ring, and the sheep is now in a very precarious position. Oh, the unthinkable sheep has been eliminated with a picture perfect pop up power bomb. Absolutely out of nowhere, and now the last two men, Superman and Majima. This has all of a sudden gotten very tense. It has all of a sudden. Superman is oh no, he's locking up for the Superman punch. But if there's no table to go through, oh he's got he's got another one, holy fucking shit. He's he's spamming his R1 button, getting all of his finishes out. But if there's no table, there's nothing he can do. Oh he's not going for a third. He's not going for a third. Uh, he seems quite confused. Please, yeah, yeah reps, reps more tables. Has he please. forgotten where... He's taken a lot of trauma to the head. Yeah, I, I mean, I can see the evidence of it down his face. Yeah, he's, he's taken a lot of damage. Majima, Majima not been bust open yet, which is, which is interesting, because they've all taken a lot of damage to the head. But, uh, oh, I don't think that was the comfy no. landing. No, comfy was... landing, you know, onto... Ooh! Oh! My God. Tope Con Hero by Superman. Fly, taking flight over that top rope. <sighs> no, I hated this guy. Yeah, we... we... Did, do you not remember the Empire? <laughs> yeah, I do, but I was thinking maybe I was being too harsh. Maybe, no, maybe no it was thing. time... No, too harsh. Maybe it was time to think about forgiving, but no. No. Why would why would you forgive when he's just always been a prick? Yeah, true. Oh, face that. great <laughs> yeah. against the apron. Great against the apron and then hit the ground. That was a bad way to fall. Come on. Yes, I believe there are some more tables under the ring. So uh, if Majima could just go and get one of those, that would be great. Well, now he's got a fucking bone to pick. He's distracted him again. Yeah, he's, he's realised that he just likes beating people up. Yeah, he just likes fighting, and this is a, uh, and this is a, a, a lot of a lot of man to fight. Honestly, giving Majima no time limit was probably a bad idea. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's Christmas. It's my yeah. present. Is he trying to make fucking Superman tap? 
<laughs> I didn't, he might be trying to make Superman tap. <laughs> Stop that. Has Superman ever tapped? Table. I don't know if Superman's ever uh, tapped. I don't. He did. He tapped to the bargain bucket clutch, which is how he lost oh, his title. Yeah. That's the only time I think he's lost by tap out. The Superman is lame. The power to have all powers or something. The knobhead at primary school. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, Superman <laughs> is lame and the knobhead. So that's completely on, on brand for him. But now, Majima, Majima is getting so close to a... Uh, if Majima gets the title and the main event goes one way, we would have Kiryu with the title, Majima with the smiley case. That, that's an interesting chase. That, that would be a very, very interesting chase. Because they've been staying out of each other's way for the longest time. Yes. And now, so. It's really messed up my brunch plans. Actually. It's really, really messed up your brunch plans. Yeah. Like, they've refused to be in the same building as each other for yeah. the past few weeks. We've had, we, like, it's really messed up my booking plans. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, I'm really glad that they do bottomless mimosas, because then I can just be like, you will go until, like, from, like, 10.30 until 11.30, and then I just book in the next one <laughs> for lunch. Yeah. And just stay there, and then I just get to have the same So one. you spend yeah. two hours getting drunk on mimosas yeah. with both of them. Yes. Ah, I see. I and see. Ichiban usually joins us at some yeah, point yeah. as well. That makes sense. That makes sense. You can't, you can't have Kiri without Ichiban. They're, like, they're the fight just friends. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been really hard to, to try and book both of these men since they've both been on quite a meteoric rise, but... They may be forced to cross paths if, again, one of them's the title holder and one of them's mm -hmm. got got the case. Yeah, they Ooh. haven't even they haven't been on even been on the same show. No, since the fallout. Again, they've they've refused to like be in the building with each yeah. other. Yeah. Standing Phoenix splash there, and a second one from Majima. Is is he's, he's in he's in full show off mode. Went to the well one too many times though. Am I going to have to take over and introduce y'all to the tables? Go on, Supes, get the table. I actually, I like, I actually think that they, uh, they have broken more tables than they have, I think. No, there should be an unlimited amount of tables under there. There should be. There should be. I mean, I don't know why there wouldn't be. <laughs> but, uh... Ooh. I can only see the remnants of three tables there. Yes, three tables have been gone through. Three men have been eliminated. They wouldn't let me do a five-man table if there wasn't five tables. Or at least four tables. Could you imagine if there wasn't four tables, they only have three tables? <laughs> that would be so stupid. <laughs> Go get a table, Superman. <laughs> that would be the most... That would be the most WWE thing. That would be the most WWE yeah. thing. <laughs> You're so right. Oh, I think Supes is going for the table. Oh my god. No! Oh! <laughs> Superman, get the fucking table. I know I hated you. Yeah, the, the, the last table is, 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 is the Spanish commentary table. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no. Yeah, we only had the budget for three and we were too embarrassed to say anything. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, we only had the budget for three. The fourth one is that we didn't account for the commentary table. That's our fourth table. I do apologize. <laughs> oh. oh, Superman with the jump and the sleep. Ooh, not quite nailing the not quite nailing the ending there. That could have been a beautiful little sequence, but you fucked it. You fucked it as usual, Superman. And now you let Majima get back on top. Majima come being on, the Majima. smart man going for the table, come perhaps. On, no, no, come on, come on, honey, honey. Oh. <laughs> Majima, tables, please. <laughs> I mean, Majima is just not getting the table because A, he likes fighting, and B, he probably can hear the webbing little shit. Yeah, like, yeah. They, they, I think they must know yeah. that they're irritating us now. Well, I don't think Superman does. Superman's just a fucking idiot. But yeah, Majima don't. is definitely doing it to be a little scamp. He is being a right little scamp. Oh. Almost, almost like shades of a hip attack there from Superman, but I can't quite do it the same way Tony Storm can. No. Yeah, the getting out the ring to just get back in the ring again. That is, that is, they, they're, they're <laughs> playing with us. They're toying with us. He's not, he's not, not going to go. Come he's not going to go for it. Yeah, he's not going to go. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I, think, I think they're breaking, even. 
Uh, am I going to have to take over and get one of to get a fucking table? This match has been going on just these two for like 11 minutes. <laughs> Superman is unaware of how annoying everyone thinks he is. Yeah, that's true. Am I going to have to intervene and make one of them get a table? Because I will. Yeah, I think you are going to have to. Right. Yeah. Fuck you guys. Um, I'm coming in. I'm, I'm coming in. <laughs> I'm coming in. It's no. I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be Superman because he's up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. Why? Why aren't I in? I'm in. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's in the middle of something. Ah, he's busy. I'm intervening. I'm intervening. <laughs> right. Get a table out. For the love of fucking if I know God. The, if, do, do I know the controls? How maybe do... maybe they do. Ah! Maybe they don't know the controls. <laughs> how do I get a table? How do I, how do I get? How do I get weapon? How do I get weapon? Um, um, LB, I think. There we go. I got a table. Activate mind control device. <laughs> reminding them what the fucking state of the game is. Okay, right. Out again. At least now it's evidence that we don't normally fucking control yeah. it. <laughs> mind control device activated. Table in. <laughs> I really enjoy the... Like, it, you just didn't know the controls. Like, yeah. you... How many fucking hours? I have like game? 180 hours in this game. I have nearly 200 hours in this game and I don't know the controls. Yeah, to be fair, maybe you should have got more than one <laughs> out just in case. Oh, I can go back in and get another one. No, it's fine. There's a table in the ring. They're both really fucked up. Should I have set it up? I don't know how to set it up. <laughs> <laughs> now Soups gets a fucking table. Oh my fucking god. No, oh, no, he's got a chair. He's got a chair. He's got a chair. He's allowed to get a chair. Oh, not if he does that with it. Cracking Majima over there to that chair, that is. Yeah, now we get something under the ring, but it wasn't a fucking table. He knew. He fucking knew. I like how neither of them have even fucking set the table. No, like they've not even acknowledged the tables there. <laughs> They're, they're too. They're, they are too in, too dedicated to beating each other up to to get the actual fucking table. <laughs> They've forgotten the aim of the game. Oh no, Soup's Soup's no. has gone for the table. No. No. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. Oh no! I, th I think Superman is he's gonna try and take flight. There we go, taking flight. Beautiful. Jeez. Phenomenal, some might say. I don't want that though. And I, I think now, oh, no. Soups has decided that it is time. Soups is going to end this once and for all. Or maybe Majima Come can... On, Majima. It, oh, Maj Come oh on. no, he's, he's fighting on, back. Lad. He's fighting back as best Come he can. On, lad. Come on, you fucking got this. You've beat up the Dragon of Dojima more times than you can count. Come on, lad. There we go, Matt. Come Superman on. in a dangerous Come position. On, no! no! Superman counters! Majima counters back! Come on. Oh. oh my god, come on. No, no. Wrong, wrong way, wrong way. Oh. You little scroat. Come on. Don't worry, he's back. He's, he's, he's setting it up. The table's back up. This come is on. This is very, very tense. Oh no, cursed clip. <laughs> oh no, not cursed, not cursed clip. Oh no, what have we said? <laughs> or, 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 was it, or was it me trying to play the game? <laughs> yeah, probably. No. no. Superman no. really trying to get Majima off the table. Majima fighting back for e with every ounce of power he's got. Come on, lad. This is this is this is two men at the end of their rope, both trying to get the other through that table. Come on, Majima, come on. this is his chance. Majima throwing <laughs> Superman through the table, getting the win. <laughs> Lord of <laughs> fucking mighty. What a war, and he earned it. <laughs> Jesus. Here is your winner and new men's smiley case holder, Majima Goal! Fuck me. Christ alive. That went about half an hour, I think. Right. If not longer. So, we have only had three matches. We usually have four matches, take a break, four matches. Shall we take a break now because it's half past eight? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna take a, we're gonna take a look. We're, we're gonna take a short break. Thank you for joining us, everyone that's joined us so far. Uh, thank you so much for the two massive breaks that we've had. We're gonna take a very very short break. We'll be back in three minutes time. In that intervening time, empty your bladders, refill your glasses, go for a very quick vape if you want to. We're gonna be back in like I say three minutes time. In those three minutes, I've got one question for you, and that is, who is that Pokemon?
Who's That Pokemon? front loaded those multi-man matches so our first half was a hell of a brutal first half and this was the supposed well you know before we get to the second half we have that big announcement to make. oh yeah i didn't realize we were making that yeah i mean would it, we, should we forward sell it and make it later well that's just teasing at this point it's called forward selling yeah okay. <laughs> You can forward tell it. We have a big announcement for later on in the show. Hold on to the hold on to your nuts for the rest of <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of the show. We have a big announcement coming. But one more multi-man match, or should I say multi-woman match, to close off what was uh, a one hell of a first half of wrestling silly deck the halls. Our women's world title. We <laughs> did the captioning get that right? I don't know. Did the captioning say hold on to your nuts? <laughs> that, that's what I fucking said. Our chat famously squirrels. Uh, yeah, all of all of chat is squirrels. Um, that's why the game fucking crashed. Oh this my is, god! This is oh, this is delightful nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> the game might have crashed. Uh, <laughs> I will hold on to my nuts, but it's going to seriously impede my chore. Okay, Balrog, you can let go of your nuts if you need to do chores, don't worry about I it. I love the implication that the Balrog has chores. What what chores could the Balrog possibly have? I don't know, Kill a hundred dwarves. Clean up, okay. cave. <laughs> cave gets dusty. Uh, I think the game's crashed. 
God fucking damn it, 2K23. Uh, this is, this is, as usual, an absolute clusterfuck of nonsense. Yeah. Um, we can never just have a thing that happens It's not a pay-per-view without technical difficulties. Exactly, so. right? I'm worried, though, if I close it, I'm going to fucking... It's going to fucking, like, corrupt the save or something because it's loading. Mm. I've got backup saves on the on the laptop. And this ain't making any progress. Yeah. God fucking damn. <laughs> It's full, it's full of skeletons and cobwebs. I thought that wasn't the aesthetic. I thought I thought the Balrog had, had like I thought that was kind of his thing. Is it your thing? Is is that an, is that an intentional look or? Well, apparently not because. Or do you tell people that it's an intentional look because you don't want to keep? I mean, honestly, that's so valid and fair. That would be that would be my <laughs> that would be my way doing it. That'd be my way doing it. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even be ashamed of that fact. So I would say maybe yeah. I'm that, just, it's just, maybe I'm just that's what goths like it. <laughs> so they like don't ever have to clean up the yeah. murder victim. Well, don't have to clean up the murder victim. One of these skeletons is real. You'll never know who. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why do you have a real skeleton? It's the skeleton of the last man that questioned my interior design choices. Yeah. Um, you know that. Kind of... <laughs> <laughs> They'll be talking about Goths or the Balrog. Who knows? Both. <laughs> my stream's falling apart. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a breakdown. <laughs> Now the game won't open. Oh, this is terrible. This is going so well for me, can you tell? Oh. <laughs> it's because it's uploading the cloud sync. So maybe maybe cancel the launch, let it upload the... Let it upload cloud sync yeah. of, of half a pay-per-view and then come back and yeah. let me play my fucking game. I've got a stream to do, can't you see? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ah. For the women's world title. <laughs> yeah, the women's world title. That we might or might not be seeing. That we may at one point see uh, during this during tonight's broad, broad broadcast. Um, so we. What was that? Broad. It, 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 it was my BBC voice. Oh, I see. <laughs> um, so, women's title. I had this really nice, really simple idea for the women's title. What we're gonna do is we're gonna. Did a push we fit trainer. We fit trainer deserves a title shot. A push we fit trainer. So I figured I'll put her in a I'll put her in a match against somebody who, not to be mean, but probably isn't gonna be much of a challenge just so she can get her wins up. Who did I pick? Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy, just at, at the same time, decided that she was done being overlooked. She was done being being just Harley Quinn's friend. She was done being a, a shadow in the Gotham City Sirens, and she wanted to be noticed. So she destroyed Wee Fit Trainer. <laughs> she absolutely destroyed Wee Fit Trainer. And then the two of them have, since then, been both mounting an offensive to the women's world title. And that has resulted in this match coming as soon as I am done setting everything up again because when the game closes it forgets all the matches of title matches and I hate that. I, just, I don't even understand why it does that. I don't know. I don't <laughs> What a weird thing for the game to forget. So, the, so, so what it has resulted in is we didn't just have one big dominant woman that could be number one contender. Instead, we have been left with two. So our next match for this evening is yet another multi-person chaos match. We Fit Trainer and Poison Ivy and our current women's world champion, Toph Bay Fong. Each of them are get going head to head to head in our next match of the evening. It's gonna be one hell of a match any any favorite any front runners for you going into this match? I mean, I feel like maybe it's just me, but I'm still I'm still a big top fan. You're still team so, top? Yeah, I think I'm still team top. So for me, I would really like her to win. Um, See, I'm not the only one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the crowd. The crowd are chanting for for top. I, I I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna think I'm gonna give what I think might be a uh, curveball of an answer here. I think it's the Wii Fit Trainer's time. Yeah, I mean, she's she's a fantastic wrestler. I mean, I'm just speaking from a personal favorite. I mean, that's that's all you need, really. 
Should we go down to the, should we go down to the ring? Yeah. Let's, let's go down to the ring and see who will emerge as women's world champion. Your next match is a triple threat match for the Wrestling It's Silly Women's World Championship. First, the challenger from the gardens of Gotham City weighing in at 134 pounds, Poison Ivy. She really has sort of, she, she made this decision to change her style from a submissions expert to more of a powerhouse striker and it's really done a lot for her it's really really pushed her forward but uh but meanwhile like that that that, that puts her in the ring with two two submission specialists so she's she's far newer to the style and it, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see if maybe she sort of she should have just rested in what she was good at Mm. Or maybe she can incorporate this this new style and, and have it not be what the other two are going to be good at. It's a very, it's a very very cerebral game. Is Poison Ivy playing? Mm -hmm. And from Woohoo Island, weighing in at one hundred and thirty three pounds, Amanda, the Wee Fit Trainer. I really can't believe they got away with calling that island Woohoo Island. When The Sims had been calling it Woohoo. The Sims yeah. have very much made what Woohooing is a yeah. concrete thing. Everyone knows what Woohooing is. Yeah. And they called their they called their their place, their kid friendly place, Woohoo Island. Yeah. I mean look, yoga trainers all probably get it on. I mean if I was that flexible and skinny, I probably would be getting it on with other yoga trainers as well, but you know, you don't name your island that, you know. Yeah, you don't. You don't just, you don't just <laughs> advertise it, and put it out there for all to see. This is where the yoga trainers fuck. This is where yoga trainers and me's all come to fuck. Yeah. I think Matt from the Springfield Sports Center is also from Woohoo Island. <laughs> they actually. Yeah. It's where the me's live. And. The Wrestling Is Silly Women's World Champion from the Foggy Swamp in the Earth Kingdom, Top Bay Fong! Top Shagger Island. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's welcome to Top Shagger Island. I am I'm the Wii Fit Trainer and I'm gonna make you fit into my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> you are nasty. <laughs> you did this. You did this. Well, look, you know, it was Nintendo's fault for calling it that. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't deny that it's also Nintendo's fault. Amanda does look fierce tonight. Yeah, I think, I think, I think it's Wii Fit Train this time. I've got to be honest. I think. Um, I think she's 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 pulled her way up to the top of the card. I think it's her time. Um, I, but 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 you can't you can't discount Poison Ivy. You can never discount Poison Ivy. She's she's proven she's also fierce. And of course and of course, well, it's been a night of it's been a night of retentions for champs. So maybe maybe Toff will walk away with it. There's really no way of knowing. We fit trainer laid out early by Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. Throwing herself around the ring with that drop kick just a little bit. We fit trainer taking advantage of that, but brutal, brutal knee strike from Tough to level the playing field. I'm a We Fit trainer. I'm training so that we fit into each other. <laughs> ah, that was that was bad. Oh, gut buster from Amanda right into a chop block on Tough. <coughs> Cheering for Tough or betting on Amanda, I think that's that is a that is a reasonable way to go. I, I'm 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 really happy with what Tough's done with the women's title. She's really brought a lot of legitimate legitimacy to it. Fisherman suplex pin attempt there by 
poison ivy but only a one count from tough but i think i think again i think it might be amanda's time i think she's earned it and i think she can do a lot of uh a lot of good work with it oh beautiful float over ddt though from poison ivy and oh just thrown across the ring brutally by Toft. this is there is no there there is no uh, to say there's no respect between these women i, I think there's a lot of respect but i think there's no they're not being respectful of one another yeah they're just they're just fucking each other up it, yeah in wrestling ha like respecting someone and like treating them with respect means mm -hmm. very different things if anything, I would say in wrestling, if you respect for someone, you are going to try and fuck them up. Yeah. Because you respect them as a fighter to know that they can take it. Mm-hmm. It's 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 an interesting it's an interesting sport, is 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 professional wrestling. Um champion out on the on the bottom of the ring there. Meanwhile, inside the ring, we fit trainer and poison ivy trading blows. Oh, quick lock up there. Beautiful ankle pick there from We Fit Trainer. Single leg takedown. Oh. Logically, this means Poison Ivy will win. Yeah, if you're cheering on one, betting on another, that means the third one's going to win. Yeah, you're <laughs> going to you're going to leave with nothing. It's going to be full on weakest link style. You will you will leave with nothing. Sna snap suplex there from We Fit Trainer. And now Poison Ivy, a half and half suplex dumping, dumping Amanda right on her head. <laughs> what what are you giggling at? Dumping on her head. Dumping, dumping her right on her head. Not, not dumping on her head. None of this. None of that. I'll kick you out of the booth. I'm sorry. Oh. And the spine of Wee Fit Trainer cracked with that kendo stick twice, three times. And going for a fourth, but Amanda rolling out of the fourth one. Don't worry. This is our last multi-man match from now on. Weapons, weapons will not be swung hither and dither. For the remainder of the show, they're gonna, they're gonna make the most of, of hearing those brutal cracks with the bats. We will return to order soon. <laughs> oh, yeah, our, our, our show is normally called "Wrestling Is Ordered." Yes, <laughs> wrestling wrestling is serious and ordered and a beautiful sport. Yeah. Oh, we fit trainer <laughs> swinging around tough by her neck. There, that is a that is oh. That's not, that's not fun. Every time she does that, I'm like, no, that's, that's, please don't do that. <laughs> please don't pop the head off like a fucking wine bottle. Tough throwing, throwing Poison Ivy into the Spanish commentary table there. Oh, and another, just a whiffed senton from Poison Ivy. Can Amanda or Tough take advantage of this situation? Tough in charge right now. Well, both the challengers getting to their feet. Flying armbar from Poison Ivy right into a traditional Juji Katami. That's usually the move that uh, Amanda uses to win. So maybe uh, um, uh, Poison Ivy trying to get a win with that would be that would be personal at that point. Mm -hmm. That would be less respectful. No oh, beautiful wrist control taking him down right into the missile drop kick, but it does not take Poison Ivy down. Electric chair face buster there from Tuff. She usually uses that to get into the bandit crab. But no, just a quick cover and Poison Ivy's there with the breakup. Nightmare from We Fit Trainer snapping a snapping a nose with the boot with the heel of a foot. I've just noticed the We Fit Trainer wrestles barefoot, and I never like it when people wrestle barefoot. <laughs> it's weird. And like, what if you get your foot stepped on? Now there's a sledgehammer in play. I don't want sledgehammers near my bare feet. The recipe for disaster, though. Mm -hmm. Oh! Tough face colliding with the apron there from We Fit Trainer. And Poison Ivy coming in to clean up the mess. Maybe showboating a little bit too early, letting Amanda get back to her feet. Amanda, though, going back to that sledgehammer she pulled out earlier. And, oh, I think Tough going for that bandit crab. She's rolling through. Getting the arms captured into that brutal pretzeling Boston crab. But We Fit Trainer just about able to break Toph's focus and make her let go. And now Poison Ivy seems to be laid out for good. Snapping Neckbreaker onto Toph. But Poison Ivy just about to get back to her feet. And the rope assisted power bomb as Amanda gets the chair. I mean, the hardcore match isn't until later. Hmm. Just, just give it up for now. 
Puff wants an honorable fight. No weapons in place here. Beautiful blue thunder bomb right onto the chair. Maybe I spoke a little bit too soon. Gets the cover. I think the trick here to get a victory, you need to you need to basically eliminate both both women at once. And a weapon's gonna make that easier, but there's always the curveball of of the third person. Mm. Double underhooks into the Tiger Driver. Oh, Again, the, the head of Toph nearly hitting that sledgehammer. And rolling neckbreaker. Beautiful move there from, from Wee Fit Trainer. A little bit too late. Burn too much sunlight. Could have gotten a cover in there. But then Toph was back to her feet. Oh, Snapping the neck with the, with the educated feet of Wee Fit Trainer. And it looks like it looks like she's in charge right now. Mm. It's, it, of course, with, as with all things, it could change on on the the, the roll of a dice. But oh, the Jujikatami locked in from Wee Fit Trainer, but Toph just just there to break it up. But now Poison Ivy seems to be laid out for. It looks like a it looks like a while, and Toph. Ooh, those those. Those rock hard glutes. Bounce a baseball bat bouncing off those rock hard glutes. You only get that from uh, training on Woohoo Island for, for years. <laughs> so, I don't think I want to know what kind of training that takes. I mean, <laughs> it takes a lot of woohoos. <laughs> <laughs> and now, an oh. But either way, to have a baseball bat just bounce off your ass, that is, that is a real, that is the champion's feet. Or champion's ass, is it? Right? I was gonna say, yeah, I think it's champion's butt. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, poison ivy with the snap suplex, but right into the waiting arms of Wee Fit Trainer, getting a double wrist lock, really wrenching out the the arm, the wrist of poison ivy. But poison ivy relying on that powerhouse background to beat her way free. Oh. Shoulder capture into the Northern Lights from Weefit Trainer. Beautiful reversal. Into a spear onto Toph. Again, Weefit Trainer, really dominant show of force so far. Let's cover. Almost a two, but Poison Ivy just that one half a, half a step too quick. Taking down Toph. Taking down Weefit Trainer, sorry. But now, Tough returning to fight. Oh, huge face buster. Now, both women escaping out of the ring to try and get away from the champion. Well, Weefit we Trainer trying to get back to her senses into a flying knee from Poison Ivy. Fine. <laughs> it's the third time she's tried that and it's finally hit. Third time's John. Yeah. But I mean, after whiffing the first one, I wouldn't have tried the second one. <laughs> but especially not on the outside. Jesus Christ. Not with all those bricks. No, not on them bricks. <laughs> oh, whiffs the chair shot. Oh, second one makes this one. target though. It was it was uh, Wee Fit Trainer that introduced these weapons in the first place, and if you're going to introduce them, you need to know how to take them. Mm -hmm. Poison Ivy now seemingly uh, getting into a dominant position here. German suplex. Wee Fit Trainer's head just narrowly missing that apron. Toph going to swing the bat, but not quite making it. Instead, throwing Poison Ivy over the top rope. And, oh, we Fit Trainer whipping two chair shots now. Sorry, which one of these women is blind? Hmm. Victory roll from Toph, but outside the ring. This is not a false count anywhere situation. Missile drop kick, but again, Poison Ivy does not go down. Northern Light suplex, though. That'll take him down. Poison Ivy returning, we fit training to the ring and a clubbing blow to the back of the head from Toph. And oh. We fit trainer now brandishing a dangerous looking sledgehammer right into the gut of Toph. And again, oh brutality on display here. This woman really desperately wants to be champion. Toph returning, we fit training to the ring. Poison Ivy returning. Toph to the ring. All three women now where they can finally end the match. Juju Katami locked in from We Fit Trainer, but Poison Ivy with the low drop kick. 
Maybe this is Poison Ivy's game. Make make Weep Trainer loosen up the champ and then get your get your pin in. But she's now got to contest with Wii Fit Trainer. Double underhooks. Beautiful butterfly suplex. And guess the cover on the champ. Ooh, I thought that was going to be it. I thought we had a new champion, but Poison Ivy lives. Uh, sorry, Toph lives to fight another day. That's the problem with all these multi person matches. Like, you get lost on who's doing what. Mm hmm. A fisherman buster from Poison Ivy. That would put a lesser woman out, but tough. Returning right back to her feet. Poison Ivy with the escape. Poison Ivy attempts to go for the bat, but... Oh! Thrown asunder right into the waiting arms of Tough. Dead lift power bomb from Tough. That was an incredible show of strength. I think Tough is really looking at shutting this match down. Oh, again, that flying knee did not hit its mark. I think Poison Ivy's done more damage to herself with that move than she has anybody else. And now, off with Poison, top with Wee Fit Trainer in her stead. Long awaiting, lingering that suplex, starting to, doing fucking squats while holding Wee Fit Trainer up. That is very impressive. Poison Ivy, please. Stop trying. It ain't it ain't hitting. It ain't hitting. Unless she can win with that fucking flying knee. I think it's about time to give it up. And now both both the women in green teaming up to to snap suplex on the Wii Fit trainer, but that alliance will only last so long because only one of these women can walk away with the belt. It gets Ticks ever closer to the end. All of these women, their energy can only last so long. Brutal uppercut from Wii Fit Trainer. And another one for Toph. But Toph one step ahead gets the elbow up. Oh, kitchen sink. And a flying lariat. I don't know what part of Poison Ivy hit what part of Wii Fit Trainer there, but Wii Fit Trainer is now outside of the ring. Poison Ivy in full control. She's desperate. She's frantic. What is she going to do? Well, whatever it is, I hope she doesn't whiff it again. Oh, she's, she's got the arm locked. She's got the sleeping spores locked in. Will Toph, will Toph give in? No. Toph fighting her way out of it. Interesting. We Fit Trainer not trying to get involved in that at all. And now We Fit Trainer up on the shoulders into the electric chair face buster. But Poison Ivy hits the low drop kick. Now we're back to the two challengers alone in the ring. Oh, backbreaker from Wii Fit Trainer. Now just slamming the head of Poison Ivy into the canvas. And now, oh, into the Jujikatami. Is she, is she too far away? She's not. Wii Fit Trainer gets the win. Poison Ivy is tapped. Well damn. Well damn. Here is your winner and new Wrestling is Silly Women's World Champion, We Fit Trader. Well damn. That felt a bit weird. That, yeah? That ending didn't have the right vibe. Didn't have the right vibe? Did, did, did you get to explain? I don't know if it's possible to explain vibes. <laughs> I feel like that's really the nature of vibes, but it just... I don't know, that didn't feel right. I mean... Not because I don't think she did... Like, I, it's nothing to do with whether or not I think she deserved it or anything like that. Like, that's not what I'm getting at. I, I just mean the, the beat of the match. It didn't feel right. I, 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 I understand, I understand. But like, the thing is with, with, with submission wrestlers, and all three of these women are submission wrestlers, those submissions, you can just lock them in at any time to shut, to shut yeah. the opponent down. And all it takes is all it takes is a well-placed uh, Jujikatami, sleeping yeah. spores, and you and you've got it. Yeah. Uh, and and we fit train to prove that she she had the, the the superior submission. Yep. New women's world champion Amanda the We Fit Trainer. Well, well fucking done. I mean, you said it was her time. Clearly, uh, the stars agreed. The stars did, in fact, align, and it was her time. Moving swiftly on 
Swiftly yeah, being... we're gonna need to pick up the pace. Swiftly being the operative word here. We are maintaining in the women's women's division for one more match. This is the Hardcore Championship. Hardcore Harley's House of Fun is the name of the game. Shira was successful in taking down Hardcore Harley's Proving Ground, lasting not only lasting the five minutes, but successfully pinning the uh, the Hardcore Champion. So she has been taken to Hardcore Harley's House of Fun, a cage match where there is no escape. No, you, you can't just get out of the cage to win. It's the standard submission or, or, or pin to win. This is going to be, there's going to be no weapons, but it's going to be brutal in all its own special hardcore way. Any, any, uh, any word on this match before we go down to the ring? I mean, the very fact that she is even here says a lot about her, doesn't it, really? You are correct. Um, and I think she's got a solid, solid chance here to take it mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and become a hardcore champion. There's only one way to find out. Let's go down to the ring. So, uh, get your bets in now, get your predictions in. It was really mean to have those middle bits be sweets because now I really want those sweets. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, I don't know who this guy is. He's, he's fired. The mic's not plugged in. Yeah, you disappear. You disappear. Hmm. I thought, what's what's more Christmassy than sweets? You know you're supposed to be announcing, don't you? No, I mean, I announce when they get in the ring in a, in a single style match. Oh, I see. Yeah. Don't worry, I know, I, know, I, know, I know what I'm doing. Just checking. I know what I'm doing. Just checking. I know my job. I know my seven jobs I have in this show. Yeah. I'm good at all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Why did security let me... I mean, security all know his face. Oh, he's harmless, really. He's just yeah. stupid. Again, security let him in because security knows his face, so... Yeah, I, 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 just like I think it might... Just like I thought it was Amanda's time, I think it might be she time. Why does it look like she's? A, I I I ask you, do not comment on the faces of our wrestlers. I, I we try our best, but <laughs> sometimes people just look a bit fucked up. Okay, part of the charm of the show. Yeah, Harley has been a hell of a woman, a hell of a hardcore champ so far. She some might say she stole the belt in in interesting ways, um, but she's been one hell of a hardcore champ. Mm -hmm. She's really really made the belt her own. Uh, and this is a this is a the only time somebody has in her eyes proven herself worthy of a title shot. So hopefully she doesn't regret giving her that shot. First, the challenger from Eternia, weighing in at 164 pounds, Shira. And the wrestling is silly hardcore champion from Arkham Asylum, Harley Quinn. See, I do it, I do it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give, give, give Russ, give Russ your belt. You, you're not, you, you, this is the first time that she's not guaranteed to leave with that belt. And yeah. I don't know how, she, like, I don't know how that's going to affect her um, performance. Mm. Cage lowered down. As we see, she made this cage herself, so it's a little bit ramshackle in places, <laughs> but... Oh, oh, straight away, she with the glam slam, getting the cover. Just a two counter. That could have been a very, very quick end to the match. Russ there making sure there is no escape. Huge top rope splash there. I feel like Russ ain't doing shit. From Shira. He's, he's manning the door. I've given him a simple job. Okay. Because he's a simple man. 
And that's Shira running power slam shade to the great Dustin Rhodes there. Really, really in control during the early moments of the match. Big splash, but Harley rolling out of the way at the last moment, maybe just on instinct. And now up. Oh. One handed spine buster. Beautiful. Powerbomb spine buster. I don't know what it was. <laughs> it was great and it was lovely. Oh. But uh, unable to stop Shira's momentum. He really, really wants this title. Oh. Backbreaker onto the champ. I think Harley may be uh, having second thoughts about being locked in a cage with someone like Shira. Ooh, again, able to roll out of the way of that splash. But again, I think she just might be working on instinct. But there's the bird of prey. Gets the cover. Two. Still, unfortunately, just a two count. Neither woman. Both women getting their finishes in in the early moments. Neither able to succeed to successfully get a victory with them. When can we expect the Agatha Christie in the squared circle? Oh, that's that's a that's a good question. Yeah, I don't know enough about Agatha Christie to to, to make an Agatha Christie, but I'll, I'll try. I'll rewatch that fucking Wasp episode of Doctor Who to learn. I was gonna say yeah, I think that's basically all of my knowledge about Agatha Christie. Oh, brutal lung blower there from from Harley Quinn. Yeah, if I can make her like summon a giant wasp as a finisher, then I'll <laughs> then I'll put her in. Cartwheel power slam into a beautiful baseball slide lariat from the champ. And double moonsault. Incredible. Gets the cover. Still just a two count though. Shiraz digging deep to get out of this. That was it was a it was a silly episode. It was, it, okay, we recently rewatched that episode. It's better than I better than I remember. <laughs> but very silly. Very silly. Not in a bad way. In a in a good Doctor yeah. Who way. Oh, Shira tripped by Harley Quinn locking in the STF. Is 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 Shira gonna tap? No. <laughs> STF does that stand for square to fuck? <laughs> John Cena used to do it and it was called the STFU <laughs> um, which was a fun little pun I always thought it was a good episode but I have to disparage it because the writer is both responsible for the larger and a major transfer that is true that is true I can't believe that guy wrote two episodes with James Corden in them like what the fuck should have known he was a wrong one from just that <laughs> Uh. Oh, beautiful throw there from Harley Quinn. And now the two locking up once again, but Harley Quinn able to get her up in the tombstone position into a beautiful tombstone lung blower once again. Uh, if I recall, that used to be a signature move of one Abraham Lincoln. Into the short DDT. As well, Harley Quinn from struggling in the early moments. She's really, really brought back, made it her own. But Shira ducking the roundhouse kick into a brutal back elbow. And the slap. The slap looked personal. I think the slap was definitely personal. There's the pump kick. Can Shira shut it down? Bouncing off the ropes. Getting the splash. Finally, the splash landing it, landing its target. She gets the cover. One. Still just a two. Midnight is one of the best episodes. Yeah, Midnight. Midnight is one of the best Doctor episodes, and I will not. I will not. Uh, hear otherwise. Yeah, I will not hear any criticisms of Midnight. <laughs> that rolling kick. That was the rolling kick that got Harley Quinn the title in the first place. And there we go. Big moonsault right to the back of Shira. And there's the second rolling kick. But Shira able to make it up to her feet. And instead, oh, slapping Shira across the titties into the shotgun drop kick. <laughs> I think Harley's about time to call it a day. Two and a half, almost, almost, uh, almost a three there for Harley. Harley going for the bird of prey, but able to just about squeak away from the lariat. This is a, this is this is the closest anyone has come 
taking the title off of Harley. And I think she's having to really, really dig deep for the first time in a long time. Oh, there the bird, the second bird of prey gets the cover dead center of the ring. But it's still just a two count. Oh, she goes. Knees up. Goes to the shooting star, but Shira with the knees. This, again, this could go either way, but I, oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Glam slam from Shira gets the cover. Still, still a two. It's getting ever closer, but neither woman wants to give up. Oh, don't grab the hair. Come on. <laughs> I think she's got, I think she may have another glam slam in her. She wants Harley on her feet. She's got something big in the chamber. The chicken wings are in. There's the face buster. Deep cover. No way Harley's getting out of this one. And there is your winner. Wow. Mm -hmm. The ref just being stood there is... That was weirdly ominous. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Here is your winner and new hardcore champion, she -ra. The ref was just kind of stood there. He was guarding the door. Yeah, like I get what he was doing, but it was a bit sinister. It was rather that there was like no, there was no ref slapping on the mat. <laughs> yeah, no ref slapping. Just, just he just loudly counters. Yeah, weird. The era of hardcore Harley is over. We are in the era of Grayskull, and it will. It's going to be interesting to see what uh, what Shira brings to the hardcore title. But moving ever so swiftly on from a bright red belt into a bright blue belt. This match, a little bit of story behind this match. So, three, four weeks ago, Rue and I got together and was like, okay, hey, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do for your for your flip shit tile? Christmas is coming, we need a big Christmas tile. And at that time, the webmaster had some idea case. It was a different time. It was November. <laughs> it was a different time. Um, so we decided that the webmaster, who very clearly had the flip sheet division title in his in his eyes, uh, he, he he should be granted a match at deck the halls, but only if he passed three tasks. Task one was to defeat the man that Rue defeated for the flippy shit title, and that was Darth Maul. Task two was to defeat Majima, the craziest man in the flippy shit division, in a street fight. And task three was to defeat the person that Rue failed to defeat in his debut at Wrestling Asili, and that was me. Now let's see how that actually happened, because I added a little wrinkle and I said, well, if if he fails any of these tasks, the person that wins is going to go on to the next round, because if he fails in the first task, then we've got nothing to give you, and you need to defend your belt. <laughs> so Darth Maul beat Webmaster quite quickly, I must say. Then Darth Maul beat Majima quite quickly, I must say. And then most shamefully of all, Darth Maul beat me quite quickly, I must say. <laughs> so. Ah, get shit on G. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> So, your flippy shit division championship match for tonight is Darth Maul in his rematch against Rue. Any word on this before we get on to the uh, Well, the me and yeah. Rue, we have lots of beef. We're the beefiest boys. Uh, so you are Darth both Maul, Darth Maul is obviously going to win. That's, 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 your, mm -hmm. that's your bet? Yeah. Well, let's get down to the ring and see how, see how right you are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, reminder, Rue is currently sick, so if yeah. he loses, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuses. It's all the excuses. Yeah. He's been he's been hacking up a lung backstage. It's been wild to watch. Darth Maul really does know how to make an entrance. Yeah, he really does. Yeah, Maul, Maul did see this as, as his way back to glory. He 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 was put as a first level boss 
for the webmaster and now and, and he went no i'm not a first level boss i am an end boss give me yeah. my fucking belt back yeah and i admire the tenacity maybe yeah maybe he was a little offended that uh that rue put him first in maybe the trials you can you can throw it darlo welcome to welcome to wrestling is silly uh you you can throw it indeed this is the, again this is the guy who who Rue has already proven he can beat but I don't know if that Darth Maul and this Darth Maul are the same Darth Maul. Yeah, maybe he's got edgier. He's definitely got angrier, and he's yeah. on a three-match heart streak. So yeah, true. And and Not momentum. Many people are on three-match heart streak. Yeah, we know we know momentum very very important in wrestling. So he's entering this match with like the the the, the scalps of three people, myself included. <laughs> My beautiful beautiful scalp. <laughs> Your poor scalp. Don't take his belt off. It's soon keeping his torso attached to his legs. <laughs> yes, that. Yeah, that. That's the secret. That is the secret. No, Rue is definitely not an evil old lady. He's not. He's <laughs> none of those words. I, I appreciate you trying. Appreciate you. 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 You being part love, of the show. I love the enthusiasm. Yeah, I love the enthusiasm. I love the gusto. They're not, they're not even on the card. They're not even on the card. <laughs> they are pretty cool though. So they will allow it. <laughs> tried to. Tried to get in for Darth Maul. Darth Maul also not an evil old lady. I can see why you would think that, but not yeah, an evil old lady. <laughs> crowd cheering for your your tiny teal dream boy the flippy shit division champion but uh, again this this is is this i would say this is his toughest challenge he's 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 fought a lot of people to get where he is and i think this may be his toughest challenge yet because he's facing an adrenaline fueled darth maul on nothing but a winning streak Your challenger, hailing from Dathomir, weighing in at 215 pounds, Darth Maul! And your champion, he is, hailing from twitch.tv slash Froven, your wrestling is silly flippy shit division champion, Froven! That's the second ad read you've been conned into uh, reading tonight. That one I did on purpose. <laughs> that one I did just for him. The dog's in the right mood. He doesn't like that we're still streaming. Yeah, probably also needs to take him out. Well, he'll have to wait. We've got championships on the line. <laughs> And the bell is, the bell has rung, the match has begun. Darth Maul, Ruben, the rematch. Rue going for beautiful German suplex fresh out the gate. Darth Maul maybe being caught by surprise. <laughs> I think both men are in far stronger positions than they were last time these two crossed paths, but one has a title, the other has a path of fury. Oh, beautiful sequence there by Rue. And the flying armbar into the Juju Katami really wrenching, a uh, wrenching about his his lightsaber holding arm. I think he holds it. He holds it with both hands. I'm technically correct, <laughs> but I digress. Rue again targeting. Ri oh, Rue going for biting the hand. That come on, come on. I know you're sick, but that is a different kind of sick. A different kind of sick. Beautiful sl slingshot plancher there, flying over that top rope, and now just blocking across the face. You realize you're not doing your duolingo. The owl's gonna fuck you up. The owl Balrog. The owl's gonna fuck you up. 
There's a wrestling silly match for you. Balrog versus Duolingo Owl. Yeah, honestly. How have we not booked it already? Maybe we'll book it for next deck levels. <laughs> <laughs> if you can get a nice 12 month feud going, we'll book it for the next deck levels. Oh, oh, the missile dropkick just avoided there by Darth Maul. Who, oh, springboard plant, springboard crossbody gets a cover. Only a two count though. And Root thrown into the corner, followed up by a flying forearm from Darth Maul. Rue, though, flying back out just as fast as he got thrown in. Throws Darth Maul against the ropes. Ooh, fake out low dropkick. And the... Ooh, that was beautiful. Gets a deep cover. Just a one count, though. And now the ripcord into... Ooh, Rue shutting Darth Maul down. Again, these two very, very in sync. Beautiful springboard bulldog. Rue with the cover. Again, just a one. Both men exchanging one counts. Hither and yon. Oh, beautiful. Under, under, underarm DDT. Into the short DDT as well. Surprised those spikes aren't dug into the mat at this rate. But Rue's got something in store for Darth Maul. I don't know what it is. Oh, Darth Maul returning blows. And, oh. The low drop kick. The Dathomir Sunrise from Darth Maul gets a cover. Still just a two count. That could have been a very swift end for the champ. Not ready to give up his uh, belt yet. Not, not just yet, but this could be at the pump handle. The maiden Dathomir. Deep, deep cover. Oh, shit. Spoke too soon. The, the, the Dathomir Sunrise, the Maiden Dathomir, is very swift. But, here is your winner and new Wrestling is Silly Flippy Shit Division Champion, Darth Maul. That was, he made swift work of that. Yeah, he really did, honestly. Extending his dominance is Darth Maul. And the crowd goes mild. <laughs> <laughs> people, pe of course, people in chat loved seeing our boy with a title, but unfortunately, it was not meant to be. Darth Maul, the three percent of you that voted for Darth Maul, enjoy your whiz balls. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you laughing at my whiz balls? Yes. And on that note, time for bed. Thank, thanks for popping by, Dalo. I hope you enjoyed wrestling. It's silly. Uh, come back next. Come back next time. Officer Coke, welcome to wrestling. It's silly. Uh, you're not a cop, are you? You got to tell me if you're a cop. <laughs> Speaking of Coke, what a perfect time! Yeah, to, I was around what the a perfect time to come to the to come to the show because we are about to come to our penultimate match of the night and. If you're a fan of Coke, then you're going to be a fan of this match. This is the Santa Claus versus Pepsi Man loser leaves wrestling is silly match. I don't think there's really anything we can say beyond that. <laughs> no, that's, that's about it, isn't it really? Yeah, Pepsi Man's been a fucking twat this whole year and, and he's top of the naughty list. So Santa's going to put him in his place. Good. This next bout is set for a one fall. On his way to the ring from the North Pole, weighing in at one mince pie for every child on Earth. Jesus Christ. No, not him. Santa Claus. <laughs> I forgot you had a nozzle. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, brandishing the naughty list. And at the top of that list is one man. And it ain't you. It's Pepsi Man. He's, he's, he's hyped. He's not had a match in an entire year yeah, since last great. deck the halls in which he lost tragically to the Grinch. 
God, we're so stupid. We are, but <laughs> in, in a fun way. And his opponent, hailing from the Yemen, weighing in at a 12-pack of 600 mil bottles of the refreshing Pepsi Max. God damn it, maybe do it again. <laughs> Pepsi Man! I need to check these. I keep being forced to do ad reads. <laughs> I got a dip to set my Muppets. Enjoy your Muppets Christmas Carol. Commiserations on the loss. Hopefully the Muppets can make it all better for you. Yes, the last year the Grinch did in fact steal Christmas and become... Uh, he became Christmas. I'm not quite sure what the rules were on that, but he became Christmas. <laughs> Officer Coke, your... Uh, your, your your allegiances are very, very clear. <laughs> but don't worry, we all hate Pepsi Man around here. It ain't just you. Someone says, is Pepsi okay? We punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Pepsi Man always slowly meandering down to the ring as if he's, like, taking in the cheers of the crowd. But I think he realizes that everyone fucking hates him around here. I think he does. I don't... I think, think he relishes the booze, is that it? Yeah. I think he's a little freak. I think he, uh, he's definitely a little freak. <laughs> but uh, this little freak is gonna have his, uh, gonna have his cock cleaned by Santa Claus in a moment. <laughs> because this is a loser leaves town. Whoever loses this match, I'm gonna delete them from the save file. They are full on leaving wrestling is silly. Rising knee and attempt of a second one, but Santa avoiding the second one and going for the two handed choke bomb. You know, wrenching, really wrenching at that knee. He, uh, he's done his research. He knows that Pepsi Man is a knee based fighter. So just uh, neutralize those knees. You take out, you take out the, uh, the, gr you take out the go to sleep. You take out the, the knee strikes. Early, early, uh, early attempt at a pin there, but only a one count. Reverse waist lock there from Pepsi Man, but Stanta busting out of it. And yeah, Jedi, those those cabbages ain't gonna ain't gonna organize themselves. And now up on the shoulder. Oh, Pepsi Man guillotined off that top rope. Now Santa rushing back to his uh Sack full of gifts. What has he got? He's found himself a chair. <laughs> uh, could not, could not make a hit, make a strike with it though. Unfortunately, goes back to it. Percy man, dizzy in the corner, struck over the head with the chair. And a second one, Freya, uh, standing between us two, standing between us and the camera. So she's shielding us from the worst of it. Santa with the cover. Just a, just a one count though. So he goes back to the chair. Pepsi Man there one step too quick. And he's locking in a sharp shooter. An unorthodox move from Pepsi Man. Santa though, the opposite side of the ropes. He's going to have to crawl a long way. Or he can just roll his way through. Beautiful escape there. And a oh, beautiful neck breaker out of nowhere. And... Pepsi Man, rolling fist there from Santa Claus. Is that legal? It's all, it's a loser leaves town match. Don't, every single thing is legal. Mostly because I want Pepsi Man to fuck off. <laughs> I mean, no commentary on the bias desk, don't worry. <laughs> Pepsi Man in a precarious position. Power bombs through the chair. That is a bad place to be if your name is Pepsi Man. And now... Santa almost trying to rip rip his foot off like it's the lid of a refreshing bottle of Coca-Cola. <laughs> Stop doing free ad reads for Coca-Cola. <laughs> but it's so refreshing. <laughs> Santa, oh, Santa with the bear hug, trying to squeeze all of the carbonation out of Pepsi Man. Will he? Will he tap? Will he lose? Will he lose wrestling is silly because he got hugged too hard by Santa? That's a way to go. That's a real way to go. I'm going to be honest, I was really hoping that he was going to get bear hugged. 
out because honestly, nobody in the history of ever has been bear hugged no. out. It's Not been... since the days of fucking Bruno San Martino has a bear hug been a yeah exactly been a legitimate way to lose a match. Oh, short arm Larry at that from Pepsi Man. I'm trying to mount a mount an offense, trying to get some form of returning momentum, but instead just oh, ripping the neck of Santa. One guy in the crowd really enjoyed that one. <laughs> Santa rolling to the outside. Pepsi Man seeing his opportunity. Tope Suicida through that middle rope. This, 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 there's a lot on the line here for Pepsi Man. And he brutally pops Santa's face wide open with that knee strike. And again, returning to this shot. No, not going for the sharpshooter. Instead, Dumping Santa's head into that exposed brickwork. That is brutal. But when you're when you're given the ultimatum, beat Santa up or lose or leave the company. You gotta beat Santa up, aren't you? He's been put in put in kind of an impossible position. <laughs> I mean he could just, you know, take the L like a person of honor, but Oh, we know that Pepsi Man is not a person of exactly. honor. Exactly. We know many things about Pepsi Man, and Honorable is not one of them. He's making a ladder bridge between the commentary table and the ring. That is a... Oh, that is... That's bad. That's very bad. If I recall, last time he did this... Oh. Spinning power bomb from Santa. Gets the cover. If I recall, last, last time Pepsi Man set up a ladder bridge, it was him, Garfield, and Gus... For the smiley case. Wow. And that did not end up well for Pepsi Man. So maybe Ladderbridge, not his not his forte. Rainmaker by Santa. Holy shit. But he's still going back for more. Up into the power bomb. There's the spin, the lift, the slam. Santa not going for a cover though. Nope. Change his mind. Change his mind. Near, so very nearly a three. Oh, into the rolling neckbreaker. And now Santa up on the shoulders of Pepsi Man. He's going for the grip it and rip it. Oh, guess the cover. Santa able to kick out there. But he's in a very precarious position, having to pull himself up by those ropes. Oh. And almost fell out onto that onto that ladder bridge, but Santa able to keep both his feet planted on the ground. The advantage of being the bigger yeah. person. In the bigger, lower center of gravity, harder to take out. And Pepsi Man's not a small guy, but Santa's not a Santa's a big guy. Mm. Pepsi Man returning back to under the ring, getting out of Kendo. We've seen a lot of action from Kendo Sticks today. Could this be it? Oh. A single crack taking Santa down, but a big lariat returning fire. And now Santa throwing Pepsi Man. Oh, short arm clothesline again. Oh, Santa taking a little bit of time to refocus there. Goes for the lariat, but Pepsi Man interrupts. Oh, and Santa now thrown over that top rope onto the ladder bridge. Pepsi Man, not quite sure what he wants to do in this position. I don't think he planned this far ahead, but he's up on the top rope. Santa, ooh, excellently timed by Santa. That could have been dangerous for him. I should have waited a fraction of a second longer and rolled out as he's already yeah. jumped. But uh, Santa, not traditionally a fighter, so I don't think he's thinking this far ahead. Mm, true. Ooh, neck breaker avoided by Santa, by the big man. Gets a lariat and ooh, ducks one of Pepsi Man's into the back body drop. Long way down for Pepsi Man. He's going for another one. Spine buster. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Santa. Santa now bringing, bringing Pepsi Man away from those ropes. I think he's trying to, I think he wants to get a cover and end this, but no, instead, dead lifting up. Ooh, and just flattening him instead, gets the cover. And that is it. Delivering a big old lump of coal down the uh, down the stocking of Pepsi Man. Here's your winner, Santa Claus. Yeah. And well. We love Christmas.
Christmas. We love. We we do in fact love Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> and that that is it. Pepsi Man is gone. He's getting fucking deleted. Pepsi Thank Man you. has been eliminated. Not only from this match, but from wrestling is silly. And I mean, bins are collected on Thursday, so I'll just I'll put him out of the rest of the trash. <laughs> And that brings us to our main event. See, we caught up. We're only running half an hour over. <laughs> this is making up for all those shorter matches. Though. Yeah. Shorter. Um, these shorter shows over the last couple of weeks. So this is our main event. This is the final match of the night. And it is a men's world championship. Former referee turned Thrall of Superman turned world champion. Uh, Thrall of Slenderman. Thrall of Slenderman turned world champion Guillotine Gus Taylor has put his title on the line against the legendary dragon of Dojima, Kiryu Kazuma. Now, asking you about your opinions on this match is going to be a little bit one-sided. What have I told you, Ethan? No commentary on the bias desk. But <laughs> do you have any thoughts before we get out of here? Uh, Looking at the microphone will be helpful. Kiryu, number one. Uh, Kiryu is best boy. We love Kiryu. Um, Gus is okay, I guess. But Kiryu, number one. Oh. Up oh, the dragon of oh, Dojima. Up <laughs> oh, the dragon. Let's get into the ring. Dude, seriously. It's the, it's the main away. event. Get out of the way. <laughs> Come on, dude. He's, he's just a hype man. He, he, he does his little comedy routines between the matches. It's fine. Kiryu has been on a hot streak recently. On the request of Gus, he successfully took out Slenderman back on Monday. How dare you? Kiryu is always on a hot streak. Kiryu is made of hot streaks. He's nothing yeah. but hot streaks. <laughs> yeah. His dragon, his Oops veins of fire. Hmm? Oops all hot streaks. Oops all hot streaks. But I think he's, he's really, really, like, but he's, he's, he's kind of, since the Fight Boyfriends lost their tag team titles, he's kind of been floundering for momentum, but now he's finally earned that back, I think. Yeah, I would agree with that. And this is his chance to prove that he, he can win without Majima. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, we never made that big announcement. No, well, we can do that at the end. We will do that, we will do that at the end. <laughs> speaking of, of tags. Kiryu, he's, again, he's, he's been, a bit, been a bit unsure for a while, been a bit... Wobbly. Yeah, yet. I mean, the the whole breakup of the Fight Boyfriends was such an emotional thing. I think not not even just for them, but specifically for them. Um, and I think it's a lot to mm -hmm. to cope with. You know, at the end of the day, they now have to work. Uh, I guess not with each other because they've avoided each other like the plague. Literally had to. Uh, literally had to. Have one on one week and then one on the other week. We've had A B weeks to cope with the fallout, you know, in in the locker room and stuff. So I think it's been a lot, and I think he's really, uh, really looking to prove himself that it's it's not just. Basically, I think what he wants to prove is that it wasn't just the other magnum was there for yeah. winning tag titles. He wants to prove that on his own merit, he is belt material. And I think that's why he's coming out on his own. No Akame, no Ichiban, yeah. no nobody. He's, he's out on his own today. It's time for the main event. This next match scheduled for one fall is for the Wrestling is Silly Men's World Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Kamurocho, Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 228 pounds, Kazuma Kiryu! And the champion from Yonkers, New York, weighing in at 183 pounds, your wrestling is silly men's world champion, Guillotine Gus Taylor!
<laughs> from camera joe from, ca from, from camera joe yeah that's that's he, he he gets a piggyback here from camera joe every week Kaz confirms that that belt is a belt yeah <laughs> And our referee Freya rings the bell. Our main event has begun. Kiryu instantly going for the... Oh, he's going... Oh, Mega Driver fresh out the gate. Kiryu is decidedly not fucking around today. That, that I mean, start as you mean to go on. Yeah, I mean, that, that beast mode driver is usually how he ends the matches, not begins them. Skilletining the champ off that top rope. Now, usually we see, we, 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 Gus is what we like to refer to as the weenie champ. Yeah, we love um, Gus. Where he wins in spite of all of the damage he takes, but I think he may have been, he may have hit the brick wall today. <laughs> he wins in spite of how much of a huge weenie he is. Yeah. <laughs> and another, a second beast mode driver, Kiryu, definitely came in with a full heat mode. He, his heat bar is fully stopped. In the entrance of this match, like he, holy fucking he shit. He pre-planned. He's been drinking his stamina. <laughs> He's been drinking his stamina. He's been drinking his Torina. <laughs> He's been fucking mainlining those bad boys. Yep. Oh, and there's the big, the big knee strike out of that power bomb. He is. He is really, really not fucking right. I think because Gus questioned whether or not he was ready for this. He needed to prove that he was. Yeah. And that includes absolutely fucking up oh, the champ. Oh, we, uh, we might be seeing some some turnaround, though. Yeah, but Gus, Gus fighting back with the, the series of low, low, low and high kicks. But Kiryu fighting back just as hard, throwing Gus over the over the top rope. But Gus maintaining and fighting back as, as hard as he can. You never want to be stuck on the apron with Kiryu. He's... Uh, Got an army of ways he can fuck you up from over there. Big Boot takes down the dragon. The f cyclone kick right to the spine. That'll slow him down. I do love a cyclone kick. It's a um, beautiful move. Beautiful move. You, you, there's just some wrestling moves that you just... Like, every single time. They might even not, like, look like they hurt all that much. But they look good. They look well, real they look fucking so good. so fucking good. And you're like, hmm, yeah, gotta hit that again. Fuck. <laughs> Kiryu not in a great place right now. I don't know what Gus is lining up for, but I don't think it's going to be good. Avalanche Poison Rana. Oh, fucking hell. That's another one of those that always looks yeah, good. That's, uh, that's but that obviously, that obviously fucking hurts. <coughs> but the chance of this is awesome from the crowd as exchanging of strikes from champion and challenger. Kiryu thrown against the ropes, slipping under into a beautiful Hurricane Rana from Gus. Gus now rolls Kiryu over, gets the cover. Two count for Kiryu. I don't think Kiryu realized how close to the ropes he was, though. Because he could have just gotten that rope break instead. And now Kiryu back up you onto know, his feet. You know how I feel when they don't... Yeah, they don't you like your ring awareness. You let me down, Kiryu. You let me down. Kiryu throwing Gus out onto the apron. Precarious position for champion and challenger. Oh! I thought he was just going to power drive him onto the apron, but no. He jumped off the fucking side. Kiryu, oh. you, you, you crazy bastard. <laughs> you fucking crazy bastard. I suppose he is used to fighting in the streets. So. That's true. A few bricks don't scare him. Blue thunder bomb on the outside as well. Yeah, yeah. He, he throws himself onto onto bricks all the fucking time. So this ain't this ain't nothing new for him. But 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 a fucking oh. pile driver throwing yourself off the side for a pile driver. That's that's insane. Mm -hmm. Fucking adore that. That's how much this man wants this belt. Now Gus getting back to his feet. Oh. Big kick across the chest. Oh, didn't quite catch all of that. Didn't quite catch all of that super kick, though. Oh, but there's a big knee strike from Kiryu. Kiryu with the cover. New champ. You Not absolutely jinxed that. I can't believe you just said that. Uh, all part of the fun, isn't it? Too excited. 
Oh, goes for another beast mode driver, but the rolling pump kick instead. Gus has finally, I think, got the uh, got the word on those beast mode drivers. Big elbow drop from the champ. But Kiryu rolls out of the way into a beautiful Hurricane Rana. Gus, I think, didn't have the power nor the time to convert that into a power bomb. Much to Kiryu's enjoyment. Pump handle shoulder breaker. Ugh. And there's the Ushiguroshi brutal knee strike. And the deadlift into the gut wrench blue thunder bomb. Doctor bomb? Is that a doctor bomb? It might be a doctor bomb. I don't know the names of these things. I think it's a doctor bomb. I'm going to call it a doctor. It's either a doctor bomb or a gonzo bomb. I forget which one's which. I mean, you're the only one that knows the name. So but I need frankly, to get it right for me. It really doesn't matter. I need to get it right for me. <laughs> Oh, Balrog is a friend of Tavi's. That's that. Oh, neat. We like Tavi. Tavi's cool. Pope Kanhiro avoided by Gus's ripcord knee strike. That's one of Kiryu's own moves. Gus getting a little bit personal now, throwing champion thrown back into the ring. Oh shit! There's a wild scrap. <laughs> Got. Oh. oh. Roll sunset flip power bomb to the outside by the champ. That is, oh, that is brutal. Oh, it's gonna be Groovy wedding. That's that's cool as hell. That I hope that's good wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It's been a long screw. It's been a long stream. I don't usually run this long. Yeah, I'm all out of words. We're uh, losing grasp yeah. on appropriate verbal response. <laughs> Standing Spanish fly from Gus. He is. I think that the, the weenie is, 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 has been activated. Weenie activated. Yeah. He's finally wrestling, but it might, it might be... Weenie powers. But it might be half a step too late. Flying brain shot there from Kiryu. The dragon may have uh, already been, done a little bit too much damage. Running a DDT to the champ. Challenger now up on the top rope. He wants Gus on his feet. What's he got in store? Kiryu rarely goes this high. Flying cross body. Nothing too fancy, but hey, if 250 <laughs> pounds of Kiryu flies at you, you're hitting the ground. <laughs> he wants... He's, he's got a plan for Gus. F essence of flying fist. Gets the cover. Dead center of the ring. New champ. Fucking yeah. Here is your winner, and new Wrestling is Silly Men's World Champion, the Dragon of Dojima, Kazuma Kiryu. Yes, baby girl, we love to see it. Truer words were never spoken. Weenie champ era <laughs> over. <laughs> Dragon of Dojima champ now it's era. Champ champ era. It's, we, we are in full champ era. What a way to start a new year with three new champs. Pepsi Man's fucked off. All is good with the world. Before we go, yeah, we have one big announcement to make. Next episode will be the first episode of the new year. We're going to take a break off between now and new year. And we will be kicking that episode off with the draw for the first ever Wrestling Is Silly Blind Tag Tournament. We are going to be at random choosing eight teams from the men's division. They will then compete in a single eliminator tournament and whoever wins that tournament will get a shot at Sonic Generations and their tag team title. That draw will be on the first episode of Wrestling Is Silly in 2024. And once again, I just want to, I want to make another company did this and they did not explain it very well. So I'm going to explain it twice to be sure. Teams will be drawn at random from a hat. And those two, two, uh, two random men will be put in a tag team. Yeah, it's not, we're not drawing tag teams. We are drawing, drawing solo people and putting them in, yes. blind, in tag team. Ramming two random men together in a team. Tournament winners get a tag title show. Mm -hmm. That will be at Wrestling is Silly's New Year's Bash. It doesn't have a name. Tag team, tag team bingo maybe? <laughs> but that 
was wrestling as silly Dak the Horse. I hope you had a fantastic time. I had a great time. Did you have a good time? I did, yeah. Uh, your boy Especially won. Especially when my boy won. Your boy won the belt. Your other boy won the smiley case. Yeah, right. Like this brunch is gonna overrun. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, I hope you all had a good time as well. If you have had a good time. Please do uh, follow the channel, subscribe to the channel, go to the Kofi. We have a Kofi page where if we hit £100 a month on our monthly Kofi subscriptions, there'll be an extra whole ass hour of uh, of wrestling is silly. Paul, the poll once again being absolutely fucking incredible, giving out five gifted subs. Thank you so much, Paul, for uh, Bonky, Ransom Time, What Would Jedi Do, Tabby, and my back hurts a lot. Enjoy your emotes, enjoy your enjoy your um subscribing paul thank you so much for just gifting out so many fucking subs while you've been on the channel <laughs> officer coke thank you for uh thank you for subscribing to the channel um i'm, I'm glad that pepsi man lost because it meant you that you're happy mm -hmm. um <laughs> this, this is better than any wrestling pay-per-view i've ever watched legally and paid for legitimately <laughs> i mean if all you ever watch is wwe pay-per-views then you're yeah, sorry, premium live events then you're correct <laughs> I've had a great time. This is, this is, I'm so glad that people stick around for this stupid show that I do, mm -hmm. because I would be doing it to nobody otherwise. Um, I like that you would still be doing it. Yeah, oh yeah, of course I would. You would just be this sadder is the, about this it. This is the most fun I have every week. I'd just be really <laughs> sad about it when nobody watched. That's exactly what would happen. You are correct. <laughs> um, yeah, I am going to find someone to raid into now. Um, I don't usually stream this late, so nobody I nobody I, I usually follow is streaming. Um, <laughs> I'm so I'm so out of energy. I'm so fucking out of energy. Yeah. Unreal. It's um, definitely overrun quite a bit. Yes. It was that fucking tables match. Yeah, the tables match where they forgot it was a tables match. That one, that one really did slow us down a fair bit. <laughs> but uh, but I think we bounced back. Um, I am gonna raid into. Fuck it, let's raid into Laura. She's playing Pokemon. Nice. Laura's playing Pokemon. She's shiny hunting. Let's let's do it. Let's do a raid. Um, if you don't know Laura, then you're doing being queer on the internet. Hmm. Um, the ta yeah, the tableless tables match. <laughs> so that there is your is your raid message. If all you do is drop that in and run away, that's fine. That's all I'm gonna do anyway. Um, if you're not part of the Discord, please do join the Discord. And if you like gay little pins, buy our gay little pins at nerdyqueer.com. Um, but until then, uh, book and book a file wherever the book you are. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Fantastic holiday season, whatever holiday that you celebrate. And if not, then enjoy, I don't know, it being a bit cold. Yeah. Any last words before we go away for the year? Um, uh, what, what do people say, uh... Happy holidays. Oh no, I've entered the war on Christmas. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye.